This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Hello, and welcome to Acquisitions Incorporated. We're glad you've decided to take charge of your life by becoming an intern at Ack Inc., the top adventuring franchise in all of Faerun. At Acquisitions Incorporated, risk equals reward, and you've taken your first step on your way to fortune, fame, and an adventure that'll last you the rest of your life. Now that you've filled out the proper documentation and been assigned your intern identifier, it's time to get familiar with your new home, the Acquisitions Incorporated offices in Baldur's Gate. The Acquisitions Incorporated franchise office is a dungeon that was discovered some time ago. It has an unusual defensive property, and that is the rooms can be moved around. You have a classroom with training dummies. You have an intern test area with a caged troll. No, hold on. Now, is the troll an intern, or does the troll maintain intern morale? That was Omen Dran, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. Keep an eye out, and you might spot other founding members. Jim Darkmagic, Binwin Bronzebottom. You might even see Viari, who is promoted out of internship. Because I'm feeling a little crowded in my intern status. I don't think of you as an intern. I'm, I'm I think of that. you as a sub-employee. Oh, that's right? a step up. Okay, intern. It's time to open your workbook that you received with your orientation packet and answer each of the following hypothetical scenarios. What would Acquisitions Incorporated do? The team, along with Omen's sister, Portentia, arrives in Baldur's Gate to find Flaming Fist mercenaries at their door. Portentia says... I'm just saying, they look like they're... Murderers dressed like guards. I think yep. we should listen to her. She's pretty smart. All right. I also want to talk to you about your sister later and the bro code. <laughs> Once inside, Omen, Binwin, Jim, and Viari discover a protection racket contract offered by Vanifer, a tiefling woman who is bent on running the show. Sorry, boys. We run this show now. What what show is that? What, what does that show? Mean? Do the the show. You, you know what show? Yeah, this show sucks. Omen's proxy, Jeff, has signed away all of Ack Inc.'s rights to exist. I waited as long as possible for you to show up, but now I had to sign a protection deal with you. Shut up, Jeff. Oh. God damn it. God Jeff, sick of this damn guy. It. Jeff! Jeff! <laughs> Every day it's like this with you. What would you do? You like contracts, right? If you're I'm, a contract guy. I read contracts instead of conventional pornography, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> and I, I gotta tell you, this one's pretty hot. <laughs> but the contract is airtight. The flaming fists are coming to take what's theirs, but you can strategically rearrange the rooms of the dungeon. Which orifice will you force the fist to enter through? We keep Jeff's office in the front. <laughs> yeah. With Jeff in it. I go, Jeff, I know we haven't gotten along in the past, but we need you now. And I cast a minor illusion that makes his hands glow. <laughs> Jeff, you're a wizard. <laughs> Have a magical day, motherfuckers. <laughs> you, Jim Dark <laughs> In the research and development wing, with the mercenaries hot on your heels, you find a beholder-shaped mech complete with five different rays. My ray choices are disintegration, death, Charles, Romano, turn. <laughs> what would acquisitions in court? Oh, this one's a gimme. Obviously, you pilot the beholder, Mac. No, does your beholder robot have a healing eye? No. Anyway. It's designed to do the right. other thing. <laughs> Last question. With the Baldur's Gate franchise office in shambles and the team battered but triumphant, Vanifer tries to make a bargain. You will never have a sanctuary here. You can count on it. You need an ally among us. I could be that ally. What would you do? Uh, I cast Zone of Truth. Compelled to speak truth. Vanifer Is this whole room a truth zone? Yeah. I f***ed your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Vanifer makes a final stand. I have a lot of sway within the Flaming Fist. If you like, I can arrange it so that they don't trouble you any further. I have a lot of sway in my two-handed maul. <laughs> But Portentia reveals her own truth. I work for our sister. She wants to buy Acquisitions Incorporated. Whoa! He has another sister? No, 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 no. <laughs> Good news, prospective interns. Your test has just been graded. You all receive an F minus. 
Forget the Underdark, you wouldn't survive the parking lot. It's time to see how the professionals do things. This is Acquisitions Incorporated. Welcome to our next adventure. It's inspired by the Rage of Demons story, and it takes place in the Underdark. This is my kingdom. And who am I supposed to be? Yes, I'm the Pope of Poop. The Myconid King. My name is Portobello da Vinci. <laughs> uh, but don't let that fool you. I'm just your regular fun guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you for buttering me up. <laughs> so I'd like to introduce you to a bunch of other fun guys who I'm going to take on another adventure today. <laughs> First, playing Viari. Patrick Rothfuss. What ho, indeed. <laughs> Playing Binwin, Bronze Bottom, Scott Kurtz. Playing Omen Drawn, Jerry Holkins. And playing Jim Dark Magic, Mike Krahulik. I'm so glad we decided to wear costumes during the heat wave. Oh. But seriously though, how banging is it that I can just rest my like Warhammer against this stalactite? This is the best set <laughs> we've ever had. Yes. This is Fly to Death. So we got a cake under we here. We made incredible career choices. Yeah. 
We have a couple of surprises under here. One I'm going to be introducing you to momentarily. Ho ho. Ho ho. Mm -hmm. So, uh, y'all got your characters. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, y'all are up to date on where we last left off. Yep. Me, right. kinda. kinda. That's Chris Straub helped us, helped keep us in the yes. loop. Yes. Right? The brilliant work of Chris Straub. How many of you out there, this is your first time at a live Acquisitions Incorporated game? Oh, wow. shit. Holy shit. Wow. I'm sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're in for a treat. This you're is our 10th year, 10 years. I know. What? No. Yeah? Are you serious? I am serious. Nobody can live that long. <laughs> Can right. someone bring Binwin a hand towel? Because I'm sweating all in my underdark. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you look, you're glistening a little yeah. bit. Yeah. My dwarven constitution is failing me <laughs> in this humidity. Yeah. God, what is under here? Yeah. Well. So at the... Yeah. <laughs> Awkward. At the Acquisitions Incorporated office in Baldur's Gate, your sister Portentia... Right. Dropped a bit of a bombshell. True. And uh, a, a little bit of time has passed. Days, uh, you're sort of getting your place back in order, your house in order. And uh, you notice that she has been on her sending stone a lot, talking to somebody. Right. Uh, whenever, whenever you walk in a room, she just sort of... <laughs> She's just... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a question. It's just, no. <laughs> He's dead. That's exactly right. Didn't we kill Jeff last game? We did. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you notice that a couple strangers have shown up periodically who seem to be working for her. For, for Portentia? What? Yeah. She's selling drugs, man. And <laughs> one of them is this kind of uh, bony, rail-thin wizard uh, with uh, uh, mostly, most of his hair has fallen out and he's not a particularly attractive guy, but you get the impression based on the amount of time that they spend together that he's very important to her or some sort of manservant or intern or something. So does she have hiring power? Uh, not for us. I mean, they're, they're clearly, I mean, they're not coming in. They're not using the company like beverages or anything, are they? Like, they're She's not bringing her rowdy friends no. in? Well, no, no, because we've got like Odwalla and shit. Like, we've got the good stuff. I don't want yeah. them, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's organic. No. Uh, no, you, they bring all of their own stuff. And okay, that's sort good. Of setting up in your conference room. Well, I mean, that's not good. Like, what are they bringing? Australian shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, but at some point, you are brought in and said, and uh, you're told that Portentia. <laughs> what? We couldn't see it. Something happened with the monitor. Oh. Oh. Pretend like they're not even there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is just what we do. If a stalactite falls on me, you will tell me before this happens. <laughs> right? Pierce her! Um, you're brought up to speed that Portentia has been talking to your sister, Auspicia. Yeah, huge surprise there. Portentia yes. and Auspicia? Yeah. Oh, and your name's Omen! Did you get that? What? Did <laughs> Do you get it now? I got it that, hers, that he's an omen and she's a portent. Oh, like, you got that? Like five fucking years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? It's a good joke. Thank you. I'm glad to be of service. Yeah. And Portentia tells you in confidence, Omen, that they are prepared to make an offer to buy Acquisitions Incorporated. Omen. But there is a bit of a hitch, something she can't get past with her sister, can't get into her thick skull, and that is her sister is absolutely dead set on knowing the value of each of the key members of Acquisitions Incorporated before she makes a final bid. So, to that end, Oshfisha has sent this wizard to help Portentia. He's like a lawyer wizard? He's going to evaluate us? Jim does not get evaluated. As a... As an evaluator. Okay. And you'll have to find another word for that, too. Yeah, yeah. I will. What would you say you do here, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> right, like... And uh, she introduces him to you, and he says, Ah, hello, sir. 
<laughs> Master Drag. Hello. My name is Flabbergast, and you see he's got a cat. Of course he does. <laughs> and the cat's wearing a little Viking helmet. <laughs> and a monocle. <laughs> All right. Meow. And this is Mr. Snibley. Snibley? Meow. What was his name? Flabbergast. Flabbergast. Can I, if he's a wizard, can I search my memory to see if I've ever heard of him? Sure. Make a uh, intelligence check. If you have got, history, you can use that. I got history. All right. Well, based on not knowing Portentia. 24. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Woo. Uh, you have never heard of this guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's okay. He has no, as far as you can tell with your brilliance, he has no reputation to speak of. He's not your friend on Wizard LinkedIn. Need <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. something transmuted? I mean, all right. Uh, yeah, I don't know this guy. And you're sort of peeking through the, the windows of the conference room, looking at him, and he, uh, Portentia lets you all in. Yeah. And uh, uh, you see that the other figure who has been dropping by periodically is a dwarf with red hair while walking with a uh, cane. Uh, and uh, he's... Uh, introduced to you as Bonego. Bonego? Bonego. Can I roll to see if I've heard of this guy? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of Binwin? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... So it's just a fucking rotating cast of weirdos. Just pretty much. coming in. Yeah. All right, eating my fucking pirate booty. <laughs> but, and, Drinking uh, all the free Cokes. Yeah. Uh, Flabbergast, uh, while he's there um, stroking his cat, says, Ah, Master Dark Magic, what a pleasure it is to meet you, sir. And Mr. Bronzebottom, oh, delightful. Oh, we're killing this. Your guy. reputation. <laughs> Packed here? Packed. Yeah. <laughs> Your reputation precedes you, of course. And Viari, oh, I've read your dossier, quite impressive. We have dossiers? <laughs> it's not. I wouldn't call it a. It's fan fiction, really. <laughs> Portentia says uh, we at Drawn Enterprises have Drawn dossiers. Ent on I am everyone. Omen Drawn. You can't be Drawn Enterprises. Are you Drawn Enterprises because you have two Drawns? Is that how it works? Like if I had more Drawns? You're just angry because we thought of it first. It's not that great a name. It's just your last name with Enterprises at the end. Your sister runs Drawn her, own, Enterprises. her own adventuring company? Yeah. You just got outdrawn. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Wait, so his sister runs her own adventuring company and is doing so well at it that yeah. she is now ready to purchase Acquisitions Inc.? Well, she's going to try, you know. I mean, there's a point at which the offer becomes too much to refuse. Is that Our the older one you sister, banged? Our I have not sister. banged this new sister, oh. Auspicia. Nor will you, says Portentia. <laughs> well, Whoa! For, Let's not jump to conclusions. <laughs> for though your wand is mighty, she has no interest in... Wands. Wands. Oh. <laughs> Jim can roll all kinds of ways. <laughs> so, I'm assuming... Uh, interns talk, Flabbergast right? says, I don't believe that was in your dossier. <laughs> I like this. Interns in talk, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what does the intern grapevine say about DE? DE is a pretty good acronym. Well, D, you know? it's strong. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, it's pretty new on the scene. Mm -hmm. It's been here about as long as Acquisitions Incorporated has. Uh, they Stingy. have... They recently were involved in a venture involving dragons and the theft of several dragon hordes. Mm. We did Hordes. that. That was not them. That was that us. Was, that was our adventure. What the fuck? <laughs> what? This is some bullshit. Your sister's taking credit for our shit? This is some TMZ type shit. <laughs> did, did we not get around to uh, releasing the press release like we talked oh, about? That's, that's on the docket for this afternoon. <laughs> Our older sister is always one step ahead of us. We just have to accept that. Mom always liked her better, and our other mom also <laughs> liked her better. You had two moms. Yeah. This is why I killed all my siblings. 
Uh, Portentia says, and we're diversifying. We just came out with a new fragrance for dwarves. It's called Vaulting Ambition. Vaulting Ambition, nice. <laughs> Good. Well, that's great. I definitely want to be in, I want to, I want to be in that company. I want to be in the perfume company. <laughs> That's hot. Uh, I don't know. How will things change for us under this new management? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got a dental? Like what? Yeah. <laughs> Portentia says, well, that's contingent upon Flabbergast's recommendation. Yes, son. What does he know about us? Oh, hopefully I will know a great deal after we go on our next excursion, sir. Oh, no. It's a no. test adventure. It's like, oh, no. Not simply that, sir. No. And then Bonego says, I, this is... This is a very important adventure. In fact, I went to Drawn and Corp... Uh, Drawn... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Drawn Enterprises? Drawn Fuck is a subsidiary yeah. Yeah. entity. A, whole, a wholly owned <laughs> subsidiary. Sure. I went to Drawn Enterprises first, and they, well, they said that this is a perfect mission to bring y'all on board to find out, you know, what you got. But I can tell right by looking at you, you're the finest adventurers I've never met. <laughs> Is that your dwarven accent? Says. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's racist, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He says, perhaps you heard him a king thrown our battle hammer. Oh, God. What? Who's this guy? He's kind of a big deal. Is he? He's, yeah. <laughs> He's kind of the shit. Well, he's got this friend who's also the shit. He's a dark elf, and not just your normal dark elf, but a dark elf with a heart of gold, laddie. What? <laughs> His friend has gone missing. He's gone down into the Underdark, and they don't know where he is. So we're going to go find him. Well, the mission pays still, right? I mean, even though it's a test mission, it still pays? Of course. It's all I, the same to me, man. Portentia says, when this is all done and the deal's made and Drawn Enterprises is running the show, you will all have positions of great power within the new organization, of course. I like Whoa. the sound of that. What, what sort of position? <laughs> the First highest position. position. Assuming that you are worth what everybody says you're worth. You never offered us positions of power. I, um... <laughs> <laughs> You have a, a position in my heart, <laughs> if that helps. No. If thinking that helps you. <laughs> so we go into the Underdark, find this person. I know of entirely one Dark Elf with a heart of gold. Now does this just, we don't have a say in names, but does this Dark Elf have more than one scimitar? Aye, <laughs> Lottie, he has two. No. Driz? And his name is Dritz Dorden. <laughs> we got the star power. Don't worry, we don't need to save him. He never loses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He says, I'm under the impression the Underdark he can't has become die. a very dangerous place. And, More uh, dangerous than an army of orcs? <laughs> uh, and uh, Flabberga says, oh, Yes, sir, we have uh, sent uh, incursions into the night below, sir, and they haven't returned. Uh, however, we have received word from numerous sources that a great evil is rampaging through the darkness. Something even worse than the drow, sir. I got no problem with the drow. Demons, sir. Ooh, that's worse. Yeah, that's worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but even more disturbing are the reports that we've received that some sort of madness is infecting the night below. Hmm. All right. Wasn't the Underdark already kind of yeah. fucked up? <laughs> How can you tell? How can, it's yeah. getting worse, right? It's like the Underdark. <laughs> How, can How can you tell it's worse? Oh, that's a good, oh, that's a good one, Master Bronze Bottom. <laughs> all right, take it easy, Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to make the yucks. <laughs> so is it, is, it all, is it all set up? I mean, is, has, have they already put the, the mission together, basically? Uh, yes, that's what I have been on the Sending Stone talking to our sister about. She wasn't sure that we'd have an expeditious way to get there, but I assured her after our um, recent encounter that we could modify your beholder tank. Yeah! We'll just drive that right in the yeah. Underdark. 
So uh, Drawn Enterprise has already taken the liberty of working with your quartermaster in modifying the rays to emit disintegration beams. Okay. Nice. Tunneler. Tunneler. Awesome. I like it. Now, uh, out, of, out of curiosity. No. What do you see? <gasps> no. Oh, what? <laughs> That's awesome. I present to you the latest super weapon of Acquisitions Incorporated. <laughs> now, I have a question. That is awesome. That is really Chris, cool. like, out of game though, like out of game for real, is that as heavy as it looks? No. We're going to watch him no. shut it down. That's oh, not bad. There we go. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those man. Toys. That's too cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, so that's what you'll stays, be taking down into busy, the Underdark. You know? I All right. It. Do I still have the Apocalypse Dagger? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a handy one to keep around. Seems kind of like a last resort. Yeah. <laughs> the Apocalypse yeah, Dagger. That's Do you one. have like a... <laughs> Like a semi-apocalypse <laughs> dagger? <laughs> it's a dagger of the partial apocalypse. Yeah. Partial apocalypse? Yeah. yeah, just like, that's all right. Bring it. <laughs> so the, so, the, so we, we pile into this yes. cyborg. Yes. And then just, uh, just go straight down. That's right. You start firing disintegration beams at the ground, and the ground just disintegrates in front of your thing, and you just levitate down into the underdark. Now, the thing is, the Underdark is a really big place. That much you do know, although none yep. of you have ever been there. No. Fortunately, sir, Jim has I a girlfriend have. from the Underdark. <laughs> you probably never met her. <laughs> uh, but Portentia says model. Flabbergast, <laughs> She's a model. Flabbergast <laughs> has been to the Underdark, so he'd be happy to serve as your guide. Let's. He knows, like, all the best places to eat. Like Bonego <laughs> is going to give you yeah. a box. I take it. All right. <laughs> and he says... I love boxes. He tells, you it's a, he tells you it's like a compass. Okay. And it will, it's keyed to a holy symbol of Myleki that Dritz de Warden is known to wear and or carry on his person. Mm. So it is your tracking device to find this errant dark elf. Keep cool. So Jim is really excited to meet Dritz. <laughs> <laughs> I examine the box. Like, what does it look like? All right. Um, you know those uh, little boxes that strap to the top of the rifles in Aliens? Yes. The Geiger, sort of the... Yes. Yes. Uh, it looks like that. Doop. Doop. I understand. They should be in the room. They should be in the room. <laughs> Drow. <laughs> game over. Game over, man. They're crawling around. Yeah, Drow. Uh, I like that the sound drow make is also drow. Drow. Like, like when they're crawling on. around, it's like drow, drow, drow. drow, drow. <laughs> exactly. Now, you've, only, you've only had one encounter with drow in your entire and illustrious it was adventuring history. It didn't go so well. No. Was, was that before I came That on? was before the Viari incident. Huh. Yeah. I speak drow. Really? You just add dr, I think, to the beginning of every word. Oh. <laughs> is that, that's what you've heard? I'm, no, that's, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. You'd be like, Drello. What? <laughs> what, you have an app? Yes, there is an alien detector app. <laughs> and if, you, right. if you put your finger on it, it'll create little aliens. Oh. <gasps> put that down. <laughs> they mostly come out at night. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. What's that called? Do you want to download it? What's the name of that app? Yeah. It's called the Alien Tracker. Everyone stop surfing the net for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, you, you said you have sent, I noticed you didn't say you sent parties out looking or groups. You said, you used the word expeditions. No, no, no. Right? He said incursions. Yeah. That seems like Which a lot. Which implies a certain... Incursive nature. Yeah, like... Bare minimum, 
I would say that incursions require a lot of motherfuckers. At least 50 yeah. is the textbook definition. Ooh, that's the standard. <laughs> yeah. It's like an incursion of, right? So how did that go? Like, Do you, you have you, any grainy footage? <laughs> Did you pretty much like find a very deep well and just they, they you pushed them in or I'd like a little bit of information. Uh, we we sent them down no, no known good. access no, points no, into no. the underdark. They were well armed. Their goal was to uh, plunder the underdark of his riches and return them to us. Oh, so incursion is actually yeah, the right. That's yeah. accurate. Yes. So you just send them down there with a bunch of bags. Just to load up with underdark shit, and they got obliterated. That's what happened. Or? No, no, hold on. You said that they were there to get drizzed. Well, no, they were there to <laughs> basically plunder the underdark. This matter with drizzed is something entirely different. Oh, okay. Ooh. That's the sequel. Well, that means we're first on their list. We are. I still first don't understand why you list. think this guy is missing. There's no way he's in trouble. But the dwarven <laughs> king of Gauntelgrim has very deep pockets. Gauntelgrim is a wealthy dwarven kingdom. It sits on what I imagine is a substantial trove, a trove which by rights should be ours. By ours, you mean... You, no, I think he means his. Oh. I mean, I, I, it's, it's a usage ours. of ours you may Portentia, not be familiar Portentia with. Portentia says, okay. once this is all over, we're all going to be one big happy family. With, with voting shares? Yes. <laughs> Fully vested? <laughs> of course. Is there any other way to run a corporation? Yeah. I can think of one. He said our payment was the free Cokes. You got free Cokes? <laughs> <laughs> um. It's like a Freeze Company episode, I know. that joke. Yeah. I'll do a furly look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yes, there's, no, there's no there's no objection to <laughs> uh, Flabbergast accompanying you as your evaluator. He is the best we have. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep an eye on him. It sounds like they're used to people not coming back from here, so it's okay. <laughs> was was he? <laughs> 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 Something might he happen. He didn't make it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Something happened to his skull. Uh, <laughs> he <Th> fell. <laughs> I killed him. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't work that oh. way. That's the other <laughs> I murdered him with magic. <laughs> uh, have, have, and he has been there before. You have you've, you've been down there before. That's what he says. Yes, yeah. sir. I have a great deal of experience in the night below, sir. Hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? Nothing. All right. Jim thought of something funny. <laughs> yeah, I, let's pull the lever. Let's pull let's the lever. Right. Oh, we, we well, gear you've up. got the tracker, yeah, yeah. right? We're, 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 yeah. we're, we're stuck. So we just, we just line up behind Binwin. All right. You all pile into the big machine. I need, like, yeah. we, need, we need to be able to burn everything with fire is my plan. Just keep it hot. That's always my plan with pretty much everything is burn it with fire. Okay. Like extra that plan. Like, like so more like double fire. Oh yeah. Double How fire. dark is it down here? In the uh Flabbergast. In the says, underdark? <laughs> <laughs> Not as dark as you'd think. Not as dark. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on when you go. Yeah. Many New areas. August? Oh. Many areas, Master uh, uh, Master Dark Magic, are illuminated with bioluminescent fungi. Mmm. What? It so bioluminous is like uh, a lightning bug, but it <laughs> it's like not like not electrical that hasn't been invented yet. So I don't know why I just said that, but <laughs> Binwin the entomologist. This is yeah. exactly what we need. All right. Yeah. Oh, in character, I just go. Mm. <laughs> so, is there room in there for like my my bug out bag? You know because. You know, it's going to be icky and drippy. I need like a second cloak that's like extra dashing in case there's like ick on my, my yeah. first cloak. A can of off. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. There's room for that and there's room for Mr. Snibley too. Oh, the cat's, oh, the cat's coming. coming. Wow. Well, yes, sir. You can't go into the underdog. Can I take a cat, look at that sir? cat real quick magically just to see if it's really a cat? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, 16. 
You think it might be flabbergasted familiar, but otherwise it's basically a normal cat. Okay. Mm. You don't know what's up with the monocle and the hat. Okay. <laughs> You've got serious questions. <laughs> He's a snappy dresser. <laughs> might give you some ideas for your doves. Yeah. 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 I gotta dress it up. up gotta draw this. Game. Gotta Is there draw anything this else cat. besides the extra cloak and the uh, the back the the backup clothing uh, wardrobe for Viari that you want to take with you? Uh. Portentia will stay here and mind the shop. Jim yeah. travels light. Yeah, jerky probably is going to be a must. Sure. Well, if, if you know, last time we left the place, the person we left in charge of it kind of like sold it. Oh yeah, lock the door this time. Yeah, yeah, lock the front, lock the front door. Yeah, but then we killed them. Yeah, it's I true. Guess that's dead true. now. Yeah, yeah. My, my my feeling on that is that this thing needs to be loaded up with. We leave the TV the... on too. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the hall light. And the hall light. They'll think somebody's inside for sure. <laughs> all right, then you pile into this thing with all your crap, with Flabbergast and Mr. Snibley. Portentia and Bonego will stay behind, and off you go. You start to disintegrate through the floor of Acquisitions Incorporated, and you start to carve a tunnel through the Underdark with the bright blue light of the central eye sort of illuminating the way. Okay. And every so often, you're very fortunate because you break into an existing tunnel network or an existing cavern, and it sort of opens up into this whole other world full of glittering stalactites and gems embedded in walls and these blind crickets, these white albino crickets hand. jumping everywhere. <laughs> uh, it's like a whole <laughs> world. <laughs> uh, natural sort of water slides where the water has start, sort of carved out these paths through the stone. Wow. See, this is a blast. Cool. I can see like a real great montage, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's like, this is like some Disneyland shit. It is. Yeah. And uh, you've got the compass. Huh? <laughs> yes. And I'm looking at it. I'm not drawing the cat. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and it is guiding your way while you're steering. <laughs> you know, well, that's 24. We're, we're busting through these walls. Yes, we are. Um, anything, you know, is going to, like, vomit directly up right into headquarters. Yeah, but luckily that stuff can be quarantined up there. I mean, the, the nature of the base is that these that hole could be shifted around until it's closed. Remember, there's that one extra space. Yeah. We can always lock the door. So yeah. they can, no, yeah. they can still get out. Never mind. Yeah. We're fucked. I still don't know if that's what I want to really come home to. It's not really your decision, though, is it? What? <laughs> what he said? He goes, it's not really your decision, though, is it? Oh. Oh. Right? Like, I mean, brass tacks. Like, that's not your job, is it? But we went down <laughs> out of my room is my, my big thing. Yeah. This is I conned your popcorn <laughs> for you and I. Yeah. yeah. Generally speaking, work of that threshold, that would come right out of your pay. It disintegrated like half of my, my bunk. I added square footage. <laughs> you got to think about the long term. Oh, you he, has you the long -term. Uh, he has you there. He has you there. I think this thing with his sister is making him a little word. <laughs> on edge. Someone's on edge. All right, and you sort of descend down into this chasm, and there's this great precipitous waterfall cascading behind you and uh, you can see some bats flying through the air. And then you catch a glimpse of something. It's very fleeting. It just sort of flashes by the big window, uh, but it looks like some winged monstrosity. Hmm. Back up. <laughs> Come back. Oh. And there's that moment of alarm, and you're like, what was fucked up? Like, how that, monstrous are we talking? Uh, it was like dragon-sized, but it didn't look like yeah. a dragon. Um, big wing. And sort of like white and sort of grubby, like grub-colored, uh, like yucky? Uh, it seemed to kind of leave a trail of spores behind it. No. Spores? But, but it's gone. It's gone. Those it was... spores are going to go right up into my bedding. <laughs> It was fleeting. It was fleeting. Fleeing or fleeting? Fleeting. Oh. See, it's <laughs> gone. Okay. Let's just keep going. It's probably Minox. Tune on the power cables? <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Uh, and your compass, after yep. several days' journey, skip ahead, skip ahead, several skip ahead. Several days. Days. Wow. I'm glad we brought that journey. Hold on, inside this fucking head? <laughs> We're descending for days, son. Yeah, no I've way. actually, I actually used rope trick, and I've conjured a little like temporal box that I've been in the entire time. <laughs> so I, I come out and I still have my pajamas and stuff on. Nice. You're brushing your teeth. Yeah. It's okay. There's five guys in there on iron rations. Yeah. <laughs> wait, it's, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's not a good atmosphere no. after a couple of days. It's visibly green. Where yeah. are we peeing? Presumably, at some point, it will occur to you. I hope that you can stop this vessel. Oh. Just pee out the back. Climb out the hatch. That's what you guys were doing. Yeah. Or stick your bum out the if, hatch. If every, once in a, if every once in a while you see me go. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore that. Yeah. That was when I was pissing in my. It stinks in there. It gets a little rank. Okay. And at some point, uh, Flabbergast, in order to pass the time, challenges you to a mage hand arm wrestling contest. Whoa. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. He, he thinks that's going to happen for him. He thinks he's going to be the guy. Which modifier that's right. do I use? Uh, so this would be uh, your intelligence arcana bonus, and this is a contested arcana Ooh, that's a good check. one. Hey, 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 yes. hey. Before you do it, right before you cast it, turn the ball cap backwards. Oh, yeah. Backwards. I turn the switch on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. He rolled an 18. Over the top. That's better than me. I rolled an 8. <laughs> All right. You're, you're turned inside out. Yeah. And that's with your that's with substantial my arcana bonus? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, would you like to try again, Sam? Yeah, I'll give it one more go. Try to, try to do it against the cat and see. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mage hand him. 18. Yeah. Oh. 24. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Oh, so it, it's a tiebreaker. Well done, sir. Well done. Let's do one more. We gotta see who wins, right? <laughs> <coughs> well, hold, well, 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 let's, let's, let's make this interesting. 18. I'll take. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't it. count, sir. You flabbergast? I'll so, take flabbergast. I feel like at this point in time we need to put some sort of wager on this. <gasps> oh, oh, make it interesting. I bet the dwarf. <laughs> I don't believe he's your property, sir. Is I'm that true? I'm fine with it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What do you want? He doesn't pay me. Well, those are very nice wands you have, sir. No. Oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are very nice wands. Well, let's see. What else, what else do you have? Uh, uh, Magic-wise, I mean. I do have the owlbear figurine. Oh, that's right. Figurine. You have the owlbear figurine, oh, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Boy, I'll, does I'll, he. Yeah. Where have I got that? Hello, where's my owlbear? Owlbear, owlbear. I, I wrote it down. Woo. All right, there he is. See? Oh, yeah, so I, I pull this out of one of my pouches, little statue. Don't set that off in here. <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like an airbag <laughs> full of feathers. And it, <laughs> right against the surface. <laughs> <laughs> Put the owlbear back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's here, yes. And, uh, you know how to use something like this? I mean... Yes, sir. That's a figurine of wondrous power, sir. It is. <laughs> wait, wait, what's he off? What, what, what? Yeah, yeah, what are you Yeah, what's coming over from this yeah. side? <laughs> the cat? Yeah, tell me what's a cat. Well, it's, it's... Jim knows it's your familiar, though, right? Well, that's right, yes. That's rude. So it's not much good to take the... I want, I want, uh... I can't hear you! <laughs> well, so there what, is, do you, what do you want? There's the cat's monocle. <laughs> no, no, I, I want a spell. I want you to teach me a spell. I've never heard of oh. you before. Oh. Do, you, do you know a, a spell I don't know? He says, uh, yes, sir. I could teach you simulacrum, sir. You could make a figure of yourself out of snow. <laughs> Just snow? It's, it's, it's very seasonal. Now, what else you got? <laughs> you, you, you know nothing, Jim Snow. It's, <laughs> oh. Pretty good. That's, That's good. good. 
I want well, let's good. see, sir. I can create a magical eye that can be sent around. Oh to shit, that's awesome! Places. I can I can send the eye anywhere. Yes, sir. Want? Do want? <laughs> that's a fair trade for the owl bear. Are you sure, sir? Yeah, yeah. I do have other spells. A magic sir. eye I can send anywhere. Sold. Hold up. <laughs> Anywhere. Hold out for a time machine for junior high school? Done. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got it? I'm ready. You got it? 20. <laughs> 25. <clears throat> oh. Happy spores. Happy spores. You win. And uh, so he spends, he spends the next three days teaching you the arcane eye spell. So nice. now you can basically send out this magical orb uh, and, and spy on things from afar. That's right. You're probably wondering what's under here. A little cake. bit. Yes. Oh, man. Is it cake? <laughs> There's no cake in the underdog set. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? This place sucks. <laughs> we should have brought cake. You should have brought cake. We, we, should have brought we left too quick. Yeah. We should have had a cake ray installed <laughs> on the Dehoven. They would welcome us as kings. That's right. <laughs> Your compass leads you. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh my Whoa. god. What? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? No. Is this like his summer house? <laughs> this is the coolest shit. We're gonna go in there and find him like reading a book? <laughs> yeah, why, you would like it? Here. Welcome, yeah. <laughs> welcome to Casa Duerden. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, this, this doesn't look like a prison. This looks like a place that has themed drink specials. Yeah. So when you burst into this cavern. Damn, look at all the it's awesome. Yeah, isn't this amazing? It's so like there's a little sign here on yeah, little yeah. hooks. Is it, a, is, it, is it a Burrow Dawn Inn? The Burrow Dawn Inn. Burrow Dawn there's Dawn. a fucking inn here in the Underdark? We would have come sooner. Worm. And get this. Yeah. Had okay. we known. Now this is, now the fellow who made this, by the way, his name is Matt Smith. His, his handle yeah, is. Let's, oh, clap. Yeah, yeah. Can I, all of this. No, no. And I. And I love Doctor Who, so his his uh, his handle his nom de plume is Czar C Z A R of happiness, all yeah. one word Czar of happiness. He turned yeah. it up. And this is not the first one he's done for us, but this is by far one of the most interesting. Now here's how anal Matt is. You see this little pin here, right here? Yeah. He's, there's like a little chain. Pull on, pull up that chain. There's a tiny like jewelry chain. There's a tiny jewelry chain. What's on the end of it? What's there? Oh, God, what if it's like a bug or something? Don't do it. Don't Just, do it. It's okay. You won't break it. Even if you pull the pin out, you won't break it. Keep pulling. Oh, God, is there a bucket? <laughs> oh, my. It's really long. Did it go under the table? There's a bucket. Oh, there's, a bucket. There's, there's something a bucket. in it. There's something in the bucket. It's a tiny gem. There's a tiny gem inside the bucket? No, gem. No, gem. Oh, it's a gem. <laughs> I was getting cranked up. Yeah. I'm a magic thing. <laughs> yeah. Put him back. Yeah, it's like this shit's been. Yeah, and there's little like mine, there's mine, shafts mine shafts with rails. Some back of them are here. collapsed. But it's like a worm head. That it's a purple like, worm yeah. head coming up out, and it's all been sort of like. It's like dritz. Wait, is it turned into a house? Does that turn? What's that? No, it, like it, would no, it just sits It would wreck just the just bridge. Oh, yeah, it would wreck the bridge. Think yeah. dark magic. Yeah. Now let's destroy it. <laughs> right. Give me a hammer. Oh, well, there's Fire. a lot of guys around here. <clears throat> so when you break into this cavern, this is, of course, what you see. And then uh, as you're just kind of looking out through your window, what's going on, you do see movement around. There are small creatures hiding behind the mushrooms and the rock formations. And they are high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> They're seeing some shit. They are seeing some shit. Jim tries well, to make the, friends. Here's the reality. Uh, they're tripping hard. They're tripping <laughs> balls. And then a huge laser skull comes in. <laughs> <laughs> right? We, we need to have some sympathy for these creatures. No, I, I get on the horn and I'm like, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
chill out. It's all right. It's going to be fine. Find a partner. <laughs> Find a buddy. <laughs> all right, they, they cower. Um, but when you, when you sort of catch glimpses of them, you see they've got dark, uh, almost charcoal-colored skin and white hair. Nice. Hmm. Can I make a... Hair check? Uh, <laughs> yes, Barber I need check. first check the cape, make sure my hair is good. Yes. And then I, I'd like to make some sort of knowledge check. Yeah, you can make an intelligence check. Okay. Uh, none of you have too much experience with underdark no, no, no. Mm -mm. flora and or fauna. Uh, so just a straight up int check. I, I will say as like the, the subsection of, of rogue, like minstrel, Oh. Like I've got, to, like ah, I know a story about yes. that, you know. So I, I might, I might know some rumors. You know what? I'm giving you inspiration. Ooh. You get the Mimir of inspiration. Oh, oh, oh. what so is that now? Now yeah. this ball's out of control. Whoa! Hold, so hold it So the Mimir of inspiration, the inspiration rule works like this: you can spend that and give it back to me to basically roll a second d20 uh, to replace the d20 roll that you just made. Yeah. If wow. you want, you can give your inspiration to another party member at any that, time. I did that before yeah. when you missed your poison yeah, Exactly, thing. but now yeah. there's a banging skull. That's just way... Yes. That's I'll, just so you remember it. It kind yeah. of bodes I tried to find something bit. really, really gaudy and ghastly. <laughs> that, so you, okay, so would this be... In, uh, so you I rolled a straight up 10. What, like, what skills do you have? Let's see. Nuts. Mm. If we base that off, like, you say have acrobatics. Have, once we've seen this, yeah. no one gives a shit about that anymore. Uh, <laughs> the guy that built the make, builder, it's like, mm. I would give you, oh god, you don't have much. <laughs> uh, nature, not really. Insight, no. No, no. Uh, no. Arcana, no. No. Animal handling, not quite. Right. Thin inspiration. <laughs> Inspiration. You know. yeah. I'm, I'm worse at survival, though. But just make an in check. I'll okay, I, I, I rolled straight up 10. Okay. Uh, you believe that these could be mad creatures called Darrow, which are batshit insane, and you should stay away from them. Or they might be Sverfeblin. Oh, who now? Sverfeblin, or deep gnomes, are oh. gnome gem yeah. crafters who are known to live in the Underdark. And relatively but benign. Benign, but antisocial. Right. Kind of xenophobic. Yeah, well, that makes sense. So they're either like like reasonably friendly, but afraid, or they will or, try to devour or, or us. Or homicidal <laughs> monsters. Yeah, I got it. Pretty much 50-50 <clears throat> is my guess. Oh, the fact that they're cowering? Good sign. Yeah, good, good sign. Good sign. That's my rule, yeah. <laughs> generally, yeah. <laughs> well, here, should we wheel this thing around? Oh. Open up, yeah, yeah, open up the uh, back portal. All right, and you pop out. Here are your dudes. I've got Jim with yep. the big flowing cape. Right. Oh, the classic fig. The classic fig. I've got Omen. We mm -hmm. use that one. I like it. We've got Viare. You're this one with the what? Sort oh. of sneaky. It's the green. I green. Like it. It's the green. <laughs> on brand. On Obviously brand. on brand for Viare. And we've got Bidwin. Yay! Whoa! All right. And this is Flabbergast, your new best friend. <laughs> Not. Yeah. Yeah. He taught me a spell. Yes, he did. He is your buddy. And uh, he can, and Flabbergast can actually mention to you that uh, he believes that they do look rather like Sverfeblin. Oh, okay. But the white hair through them because they don't generally have hair. They're hmm. generally bald, even the women. That's fine. Hmm. That's okay. Hmm. okay. Hair is not a big deal. But his. <laughs> <laughs> it's not important at all. Beautiful. Yes, thank you. His thing. His radar thing led us right here, though. Yeah, what's my radar saying? Is, he, is it pointing up into the uh, It is. Your radar thing is um, indicating that he's not in the immediate area, um, but he's close. Okay. Who Nearby. Said bald is beautiful. Yeah. Here is a race limb for you. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Thank you. Did you bring enough for the rest of the class? <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. Hey, man, what did he give you? What'd what did he give you? I gave him a, a very rare Racelin figurine. Racelin? Yeah. Why? Why'd you give it to that guy? Because he said bald is beautiful. Yeah, because he's a cool person. <laughs> wow. He's wearing a Flash t-shirt. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Now, <clears throat> on the trip down, has Flabbergast been willing to like sign some preliminary papers as to like a position in this theoretic after the merger, somebody would own like voting shares and perhaps a percentage of profits? Yes, he can walk you all through this, the hypothetical specifics. To, like, yeah, absolutely. But he's put he's put stuff on paper. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a little folder for you okay. where he's got some, like a blank side where he's going to sort of keep track of all your accomplishments and everything that you do on this particular excursion. Okay. He seems wow. to be chronicling your life. In fact, the day is coming down here. He's sort of kept tabs on everything that you've done, how you've groomed your beard. Yeah. He's very fastidious. <laughs> and Just then, in uh, case. But yes, on the other side, it's yeah. like you can see uh, a list of different uh, positions with salaries and uh, yeah. Bands and all I kinds like of things. I like this guy. Wow. Just in case, you should, together. You should no. have me just take a quick look over that. I don't think that. you have to. I trust it him. It feels good to finally have like a plan of action. Yeah, yeah but it's like Someone a lot of my cares about your future. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of. I really feel like a part of the team. Yeah. Right. A lot of these operations are sort of fly-by-night operations. He's I mean, been around somebody... as long as we have. He said. I've yeah. always wondered, when we're doing danger sharing, why not profit sharing? Right. It makes sense. I mean, he what, makes a lot of sense. What, what, to, to back up, my friend here. Exactly. Thank you. He's only offering me like 8%. You know, and that's, I mean, it's, 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 it's decent, but it's not. I'm great. sorry. I'm sorry. 8%? That's incredible. I mean, to start, it scales. It scales? Yeah. You see Flabbergast pull out a stone and suddenly say, oh, yeah, I think somebody's that, calling me. Is that like... <laughs> <laughs> but is that, right, I mean, is that like a Baldur's Gate 8? You Wait, know what I mean? Uh, well, what does that mean? I don't think, I don't think... <laughs> it's not, it's not points on the net, right? Right. I, I asked him, he, he knows better than to, to do points yeah, on the map. Yeah, just, just, yeah, I mean, I, I totally, obviously I want what's best for you. Hey Chris, can I send my eye into the inn? Yes. <laughs> I just want to see what's in there. All right, what's an eye sheathed in green flame. Green flame! <laughs> erupts. Okay. Whoa. All right, that's a good trick. So I, do I see through it? Yeah, so basically when you sort of close your eyes, okay. you're now looking through this green gossamer orb. Okay. I, I float it up. Does it, go, does it go through the wall? Like, can I go right to the end? Yep. Let me try it, let me try it, let me try it, let me try it. <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. It's like the Oculus Rift. No. <laughs> You'll but get sick. I will. Jim, I don't know if you can see it on your side. There's actually windows up around the side of the building too that might oh, be a yeah. good safe place. Oh yeah, I mean how long, can, how long do I maintain the eye? Uh, pr you can c keep concentrating on it and just keep it going. Okay, yeah, I just, well, I'll float up to this first window over here on the right and see if I can sort of peek in. All right, when you do, you see that the interior has been decorated with uh, this sort of beautiful opulence, that, but all the curtains and draperies all look like webs and basically crouched Ooh. on a pile of, cur uh, of cushions is a creature that looks like this. Ah! No! Whoa! Don't like it. I'll just, I'll put her up here. She's not really up here, but there you go. So everybody can see her. From her head to her waist. Yeah, and uh, you can <laughs> That's see... That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> what's, what's kind of disturbing is... Oh, she's... please tell us what's disturbing. What's disturbing? disturbing? <laughs> I can't tell. I was a little iffy. <laughs> <laughs> so there are a bunch of these short little gnome creatures with white hair. Mm -hmm. uh, they got pointy ears, um, charcoal Terps. gray skin, and they're sort of rubbing her body down. Ooh, Jim does not like any part of something. this. And, really likes parchment. And the distressing part is you've met her. Jim because knows her? The do we know Cynthia the whole that you kept talking she... about? <laughs> she does this look is... like this in the profile is... picture? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, everybody lies on Ashley Madison. You shouldn't yeah. have started it's like, that. You take it from up here, you don't see the mandibles. <laughs> <laughs> The venom sacks. Yeah. 
Oh, you have, Christ. <laughs> you've encountered her before on one of your adventures. It is a drow uh, woman named Danielle. Oh. oh my god, but she's been converted into one of these And uh, you can things. see she's got uh, fire scars all over half Urgh. of her face. The years have not been kind. Uh, nor has the fire. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, all right. Now, just to say, do you have memories of her and fire? Where perhaps you... To be 100% honest, Jim doesn't fully remember her. <laughs> <laughs> She looks familiar. Yeah. But she's got those legs that like could be on anybody. <laughs> like In your life there's been a lot of women and a lot of I fire. I can't quite place her. And a lot of plump abdomens. <laughs> should I, should, and a I lot roll? of eight-legged monsters. No. Do I recall her? Yeah, you encountered her skulking around briefly in that dungeon with the gigantic horned statue where Aofel crawled up the ass. Oh! Oh, shit, we're going way back. That was yeah. a high point, by the way, for those who have never experienced that before. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, just quick, quick, does Jim remember if they left on good or bad terms? It was bad, okay. <laughs> How so, drunk were you? <laughs> Dude, you need to go back and look at your history. Just yeah. real quick. <laughs> All right. So I come back and I report. Or I guess I don't come back. Oh, I'm, I'm I there. forgot. She's also surrounded by chests of treasure. Oh. oh. Kind of changes the math a little bit. It does. <laughs> <clears throat> looking, looking a little better? Yeah, Jim's got gold goggles, I guess. <laughs> treasure goggles. Treasure, treasure goggles. goggles. Uh, okay, well, I, I fill them in on what I saw in there, um, but I don't send the eye in. Okay. I, I pull it back. Yeah, I mean, it seems like the best call is just to wheel our skull robot over there and then just go bore directly through the wall. <laughs> <clears throat> and my, Firing all lasers my simultaneously. My guess is that some of the treasure will remain. <laughs> And that is the treasure we will take with us. Honestly, if Driss isn't in there, and we're not looking for this lady. How close? I mean, <laughs> oh. tilt this thing. Maybe it's like a magic eight ball. Like, give the thing a good shake and see it. I mean, see how close we're talking about here. Are they forming a phalanx of some sort? <laughs> <laughs> all right. They, all of these tiny little creatures with white hair and gray skin come out, and they form a perfect line. As oh, they the sort of love a guy? advance toward you. And you see that they, they almost look like little children. They're tiny little bodies. Yes. Uh, but clearly Sverfeblin, Flabbergast tells you, but, but they're, wearing, they're wearing white wigs. Wigs? And somebody's made their ears pointed when they're not normally. They're like tiny midget drow. What? No, 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 no. You don't say midget. You don't say midget. They're driddle Tiny people. Tiny, dwarf-like. Driddle, driddle, they're driddle, driddle people. people. Driddle people. So they're, they're <laughs> tiny drow dressed to look like drow. this other monster? They're no. Tiny Sverfeblin Reverse it. dressed yeah. to look like drow. Oh, oh they short. have white wigs and white pointy wigs ears. White wigs and pointy ears. It's, maybe it's cool right now. I don't. But it's a bad disguise, like we see right through it? Well, it's... You know, their, their little wigs aren't quite sitting They're on. shoddily they're, done. Yeah, they're not particularly well done. They're not committed to it. Are they moving in, like, in concert in an uncanny way as if they were being controlled? Yeah, it's almost like they're part of a hive mind. Uh, hive minds are as, never good. As they advance, their does eyes look, glow. Does it look like they're maybe going to break into a musical number about the... <laughs> <laughs> about, like, the dangers Dinner of the show. Chocolate River here or something? <laughs> Don't worry until they start doing this. <laughs> <laughs> right, I asked Jim what's wrong with them, because that's going to determine what I do next. Because I speak drow? No, no, I, I, I'm not, don't talk to them, I'm saying... Drello! <laughs> <laughs> Drello, drow. Dry drain. Driz, drum, drog, tragic. <laughs> Trust me, they understood it. No. They all look at you and go, at the same time, Hello, Jim, Doc Magic. What'd I tell you? No. I, I don't think Fluent it's good. in drow. <laughs> Hello, Jim Doc Magic. You hear another voice from up here. And then uh, from up here you hear, Hello, 
Jim Dark Magic. I don't think it is. They all know me. Hello. They don't. Getting the children of the corn vibe. Yeah, but they just sort of stand in a perfect line. Do spiders have hives? Uh, there are some hive spiders. Can you have I a don't hive associate spider? hive yeah. minds with spiders, though. No. What? 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 I don't. I'm, I'm, I would you would like that... to meet our queen. Oh. oh. Uh. Well, not if, not if she's busy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> I know we just broke in through the wall. <laughs> we didn't make an appointment or anything. It's we can come back. I mean, that's fine. We have a hole. We can just come right back. Come meet our queen. Uh... Oh. <laughs> I, I prepare the apocalypse dagger. <laughs> Loaf. Uh, Loaf? No. The come wolf? on. No, it's Loth Flanagan. <laughs> <laughs> From junior high. <laughs> but, God. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, uh, fuck. There's no good choices. <laughs> but I'm so curious. Yeah, well that's my thing. You don't get invited all the time to go meet Loth. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I'm assuming, I'm assuming they're not real big on the laws of hospitality here in the Underdark. Like, her in invitation doesn't mean necessarily that we're going to get, like, chilled drinks and good behavior. Yeah, you're not too sure about that, but this is an inn, apparently. Yeah, right. and, it is an and it is cool. As far as places to meet no, wolves I mean, go. Uh, five stars on Yelp. Yeah. <laughs> the keywords are quaint. <laughs> All right. The Oompa teeth. Loompas, <laughs> well coordinated. Wait, yeah. Oh yeah. Teeth. The service. Excuse me. Do, do I get the? Do I think that we could deny this invitation? Yes. Hmm. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Without repercussions. Unclear. <laughs> I want to feel this out. Yeah. I, Wolf. I, think, I mean. This Wolf. is this is a great opportunity. Exactly we right. We could have, perhaps. Are synergy. you guys saying Rolf like the Muppet, or is it no. Wolf? No, no, it's Lolf. Are we meeting Rolf? Are we meeting Rolf? <laughs> Lol. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> That's like 180 degrees from Rolf. <laughs> yeah. I'm never gonna meet no. Rolf. <laughs> it's a, it's the polar opposite of. It's Wolf. on my bucket yeah. list. <laughs> meet Rolf. Never gonna meet that yeah. fucker. Yeah. Let's. He is an Don't evasive Let's puppet. feel it out. Let's feel it out. Okay. okay. Well, Let's feel it out. We can always right. leave. Exactly. Unless we're in webs. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we're cocooned in webs. Being drained. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's providing light here? Uh, that's a very good question. There is, uh, other than lights sort of spilling out of the windows here, you just see a uh, little uh, glimmering fish in the water in wow. front of you. Hmm. And then... Uh, there are a few, what look like maybe continual light spells coming from inside some of the mine shafts. And so you see these nice. little lights now, spilling out. That, that, that is awesome. bright light. That's cool. Continual light is bright. Yeah, it's it the is real deal. Bright. So like, like, I don't get the impression that if I were, say, to have a lit lantern, that would be incredibly gauche here. No, no. Then I totally yeah. do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And John. Be on the spot yeah. with the light spell. So you're like this bright sort of... Um, burst of light, of yellowish light down there, and you see like there's rays of light just sort of crisscrossing back here. Uh, I turn on the security system on the builder. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, your light uh, sort of gleams off of the water onto the ceiling, and uh, you can see, in addition to some of the other things in the cave, uh, actually up here on top of this structure are two gargoyles. Yeah, put the spider lady back. Hmm. <laughs> Who are just sort of hanging out up there. But they, you can see they got like their talons flex and their wings sort of move. Those so they're clearly alive. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like gargoyles that go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> and they are actual size, I'm assuming? Uh, they are. Okay. Uh, but they don't, other than. Well, we're being an invited in. in you, yeah. They I haven't done anything to... blatantly aggressive. Let's see how this goes. And, and like I say, shake up your compass and then. I mean, give me, give me a readout on where it's. I give it a good, like, 
You know, like you got to do electronics sometimes. Well, All not right. electronics. It's sort of invented yet. Uh, something weird happens. You can see it's kind of spinning, mm, like it's yeah. lost its compass direction, and you're not sure why. And then Flabbergast sort of looks over each other and says, oh dear, this cavern appears to have some sort of phaserous effect. A what? A phaserous effect, sir. Peter, that's not even a kind of effect. It's obviously affecting he says, us. He says, it's, a, it's a drow word, sir. It's, it's a term for the, um, how do you say, the ambient radiation that permeates the Underdark. Uh, oh, I forgot that one. Oh, it, can have a, it can have a disruptive effect on some forms of magic, including teleportation, sir. Oh. Oh, good to know. Good, okay. File that one away. Okay. So um, that's bad. Now, you guys kind of yes, rolled good right over the tip. word radiation. Right, sir. <laughs> Okay. So the compass is okay. I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess we're fine with so that. So long as all we're right. all on the same page. Yeah. As long as we're on the same irradiated page. <laughs> it tingles. That's how you know it's working. Yeah. It's like Selsun <laughs> blue, but for your genes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. We, we I bow and we graciously accept this invitation. Yeah. All right. It's an honor and a privilege. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the, these little people. Basically, turn. They preserve the line as they sort of turn about <laughs> nice and start to make their way up to the entrance of this purple worm inn. Yeah, they practiced this. That's nice. Yes, they did. And they don't even look back to see if you follow. All right, yeah. do we follow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Shit. Actually, I'll I'll walk like right along with. What's them. our What's our marching order? And I'm guessing mind controlled whatever probably aren't the most alert thing things ever. So if I have a opportunity to casually like maybe kind of shake one of them down to see if they're carrying anything interesting. <laughs> yeah. This goes down the line. I just, if the opportunity arises is what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Uh, I'm, one of them looks like he's a little bit better dressed than the other ones. He's got a gem studded vest mm. and he might hey. have been like the proprietor or the mayor of whatever this yeah, place is. Yeah, before he was dominated. But uh, make a sleight of hand. I'm going to pat him 10. down like before a drug deal. Yeah. 19. Yes. All right. Uh, you were able to lift off of him a wand. Oh, which interesting. Which is magical. In fact, there's a picture of it in the Dungeon Master's Guide. It's, that, sure it's, it it's so cool that it's one of the pictures. It's available in the Dungeon Master's Guide. Available now at Amazon.com. <laughs> 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 and finer retail stores everywhere. It's not wow. that one. It's what? That, that is super fancy. Nice. What's it called? I try not to be like wow. super obvious about the wand fact of, that I've uh, I missed it. Just <laughs> pulled this wand directly out of. And when you pull this person's. colored golden wand out, you <laughs> see that the, the balls at the end of it, they sort of turn very slowly That's in so different awesome. directions. I, I've, sh I've had this for a long time. It's, yeah. <laughs> My dad gave me this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'll maybe, I'll just sort of maybe inside the vest, okay. you know. Close now. to the desk. Now, can I, rogues, I remember, used to have the ability to, like, use magic items, but I'm guessing if I don't have that writ on my sheet, it ain't the case. Oh, no. Um, when you, well, as you're fondling this wand. Uh, Circumspectly, <laughs> yeah. Personal <Yes>. massager. <laughs> <laughs> you, instantly get, you instantly get the sense that you could activate oh. it. Okay, I like that sense. You can even see uh, neatly etched into the shaft of the wand is Steve. its command phrase. Oh. oh, okay. That's an amount of power that I should not be trusted with. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you file that one away. Okay. I, I want to see what the hors d'oeuvre options are in here. All right, when you are led up into this place by these tiny little drow people, uh, the door opens into a palatial common room that has been converted into a basically a palace throne hall, based what you saw. Yeah, webs and stuff everywhere. And uh, you, all of you can see Danielle, albeit transformed into this monstrosity, being pampered by her, shall we say, minions. Right. The Smurfettes. <laughs> yeah. Jim goes, did you cut your hair? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she sees you, and her eyes get wide, and she says, Sacre bleu, Jim, dark magic. You look fantastic, oh my god. <laughs> what have you been doing because I yeah. want to do it too? You know, I mean, they say the Bing thorax, me. right? 
Hey! Bean me! Good time! Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Monsieur Dran Omen! They say that the thorax adds 10 pounds, but I'm not seeing it. I don't this see it. This is wonderful. Uh -huh. This is perfect timing. Is, I thought we it, were all what, doomed. What time? What time is it? What is the time? Leave us, minions. Go, go. Yeah, get out of here, get you guys. Out. She <laughs> said leave. That's what I think. You is see, cool. she sort of gets up on her big spider haunch. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Oh, hey! Whoa. Hey. Oh, my <laughs> goodness! Yes. Yeah! Wow! Uh -huh. And Great. she comes over with her big. Hey ho! <laughs> Ooh. Hi! Ooh. Nice! Ooh. Hey! It's so good oh, just to hey. see you. Feel it. Vinman, soak it up. Ah, soak yeah. it up, man. Soak I don't up. need any of that no. at all. Soak up all that venom. No, hey, I think. I, uh, yeah, we, no, we, we, we haven't no, been no, introduced. No, one hug. Like oh, this, this is, this is awkward. Boy. This, this is very awkward. The hugs are so big. There's Who are you? I, uh, you can, you can call me AFL. <laughs> <laughs> If, if, if anyone name. asks in the future, uh, Eofel, I spit on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, you I, are not I, Eofel. I, I have no Eofel. No, I, it's a joke. Yeah, it's I, just, I, I haven't. Uh, he's the I funny one. Your... <laughs> he is the one who did this to me. I. Yeah, Whoa, dude, what? No, that's her he's... scarred face and oh, the fire. Oh. Oh, oh, Yeah, I didn't even notice. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. Oh, what? Really? You no, know, it doesn't. No, you don't, oh, we don't actually. We don't hang around with him anymore, and that's why. Because yeah. of what he did, which you was can wrong. do so much with contouring now. It yeah. looks great. She says, <laughs> <"Did I get laughs> him? "There are terrible things happening down here in the underdark." You can terrible see that. <laughs> <laughs> she says, she "says This is all I could do to survive." Did I do what? If yeah. You look great. <laughs> you mentioned spider are Pilates. Those your <laughs> Your bodies? Uh, <laughs> servants? <laughs> allies? Yes, they are the. Uh, Minions? The Smith Eblin. They live here. And, for, and when I came here as a guest, I sort of took over the place. Ah. By place, do you mean their minds? Is that the place? Oui, oui. Like their frontal cortex? Oui. <laughs> I, I convinced them all that I am Loaf, the Demon Queen of Spiders. Oh. Oh. oh! Hey, that's great to hear! Oh, oh! <laughs> Binwin awesome. goes. <laughs> <laughs> so what seems oh, to be my, the my little palm de terre? <laughs> <laughs> you never change. No. So, so what is so the this problem? This has been great. Yeah, <laughs> I had a good time. <laughs> no, um, no, you have to go. You have to flee while you can and take me with great. you. Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to. We want to. You have to save me from this madness. We it's should. It's swallowing yeah. up all of the underdark. I would, I feel like. I don't feel like we can. I don't feel like we are strong enough. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, but we know someone who is, and we will send them. How did you get here? Mm, I forget how Uber. we got here. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I got no service. <laughs> I'm just going to hope it back. You know, I would, Uber. Love, I would love to help you out. I, I am here for you. No, no. This is what I do. No, 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 and I kind of I kind of glance over to make sure that uh, uh, Labbergast is watching this, right? That he's catching this action. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. And I'm like, he's I'm like, probably with you, actually. Yeah. So he's he's yeah. here, so I'm like, you know, I I can handle this, whatever it is. Please tell me what's going on. She says. I kind of. There are demons rampaging through the underdark. I believe it has something to do with an event that happened in Menzo Baranzan, but I do not know for sure. All I know is we are now all being hunted by forces from the abyss. And worse, everybody is going mad. That's awful. It's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Let me know what I can do to help. You've got to get me out of here. Is there anyone else here that needs Before help? I lose my mind. Before? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Previous before. To. Okay. Of course, mm. before. Before, not after. Before. Is hey. there any? Is uh. there any equipage you would like to bring? Any? Any essential, like toiletries or? <laughs> unguents. Unguents, sir. 
Well, there is my bountiful treasure, which oh, I yes, have. Yes, that's a must. Oh, we have yes. room for that. Which right this way. Which Maybe I... some kind of hydrating lotion or <laughs> something. <laughs> She You're says, looking a little chitinous, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Are you all right? Is mm -hmm. everything okay? No, this is great. Oh, can we ask her if she's seen uh, Dritz? You, you, see, you see, she says, Dritz? Yeah, have you seen him? Dritz Dorelden? That's Yeah, that's, that's the one the we're thinking. One is, that a common, is that a common name? <laughs> Are there a lot of... First time like, ever in the history of mankind... That name has been pronounced with a French accent. Yeah. Tonight, <laughs> on this stage, I guarantee it. Well, no, in France, I'm probably. I'm sure there's probably in a France. lot of French fans. <laughs> in France. Yeah. I'm sure Bob's books get to France. Okay. In America, though. He says, I have... There isn't a drow alive who doesn't know Dritz de Wild, and he is, shall we say, an outcast, uh, a, a, an iconoclast. But does he live around here? I kind of <laughs> says, oh, I, I, I don't know. Oh. Is, that, is, is she lying? I have never met him. Yeah, is this, is this all bullshit? Is there a way for you to determine Oh, yeah, you can check. check your, the uh, liar this is an insight, queen. insight check. A falsehood mountain. Oh, this is, this is your wheelhouse, insight. Insight. Wisdom. 17. Mm. Oui. Hmm. Um, first of all, you're able to determined that she is not herself. This is not how you encountered her last. She yes. was very, she wasn't open, she wasn't huggy, she Different wasn't likable in right. any way, shape, or form. Uh, this is, this so is very So would it be bad if this sickness just kept going down here? <laughs> I don't. Secondly, you don't think she's lying. You do think she is scared for her life down here. And uh, she, the Dritz was the last thing she expected anybody to talk about. Down here. Huh. Yeah. Did, she hug, did she pick my fucking pocket with her spider things? Uh, I, I quit, I, not obviously, but I kind of do a quick gear check because that, she was smooth with that. I did not. Yeah, she was very smooth. Uh, yeah, you're, you're like missing your, your shit. Like, you're losing figuratively. Stuff. Like, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's never a good time. You're fucked up. Never, never ask never that Never let the DM take your character sheet. Oh, no. You fucked up, kid. You fucked up. Rookie mistake. <laughs> Is there anything bad that you could do to me that Say I could not respond? Say goodbye to your apocalypse <laughs> dagger. Yeah, she's got your apocalypse dagger. Yeah. Yo! Oh, and so, like, I realize that, and then I, like, she doesn't, have, she's not wearing a dress here. Where, is she holding it? No, she's sort of stuffed it into her abdomen. Ugh. Ugh. You don't want that back. Into the sort of folds of it. So mm. It's a little this hot. This information needs it's to become. It's a little hot, though. A little bit. This little information bit. needs to become. Viari, this information needs to become public uh, sooner than later. And then. Um, uh, I'm just letting you know. I'll, I'll say. I'll say. Oh God, guys! I think my apocalypse dagger. <laughs> Does anyone see my apocalypse say. dagger? He's on his hands and knees. Do you remember? I lost an apocalypse. Do you guys dagger. remember the terribly cursed dagger that we found? Sure. The one we was the terribly one I told dangerous. You not to bring. Well, yeah, I know you told me. I was hoping to abandon it in a very, like, a deep, an endless hole here in the in the underdike because it was so mm -hmm. something that no one would ever ever want to actually touch. Congrats. So, yeah, and and definitely keeping Done. it where demons live is the optimal scenario. Right. Uh, the uh, is she fa is she buying this at all? <laughs> Deception. Oh. Deception. Deception. I, got, I, I have persuasion. This is deception. Could you yeah, know you're being, you're being so. dishonest, right? You fucked it again. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Inspiration. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna I rock them my, here. I need my freaking apocalypse dagger back. I do not want somebody else cutting my heart out with the stone dagger so I can take on this some back table. Then? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Better. Eight, ten. She's Urgh. she's being mind whammyed. She's probably not at her best. No, she mm. is not. 
And uh, even so, you you can see she she when she sort of gasps, it just sort of falls out of her and lands <laughs> on the floor. Oh. <laughs> she coughs. <laughs> Man, is that is it oozy? Ah, uh, yeah, a little bit. Oh, I'd be like, oh my goodness, that must have somehow got it. I'll get like a handkerchief. <laughs> And I'd be like, this is so damn so glad that you didn't accidentally get cursed by, oh. Like a, a, how did that get there? Is there like a, is there like a, a hand basin or something? Yeah, there is. We, yeah. I, yeah, behind the bar. Okay, I'll go back. Danielle, up. we're, so like, we're There's prepared. A bar. That, so that was a weird situation. <laughs> right? Can I, can we just admit yeah. that that yeah, is weird? Yeah, that was okay. weird. Hey, so. I think that that is... That's a first date for me. I don't want to know. I don't need it that bad. She picks my pocket, I pick her pocket. Yeah, she stuffs your treasures She stole his virginity. (laughs) Listen. Okay, second date. Yeah. So, that's what happens when you take the four. Now... Wow. Wow. I start mixing a drink. (laughs) Yes, no kidding. Make one for me, too. (laughs) Danielle. We need expert assistance in the Underdark. We are looking for someone, and the device that Binwin holds will direct us to it. We need your help, and we are willing to offer you transit out and an internship. <laughs> what? Is it, is it sub-internship? Sub, yeah, sub, 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 in, yeah. This you I'm senior. are her boss. That's wow. Yeah, that's a promotion. Um, and uh, in exchange for that, as, that expert assistance and knowledge, we will grant you exit uh, from this realm of madness and damnation. Seems like a good she deal. Says, yeah. That sounds like a very good deal. I accept. That's marvelous. Just what? start waddling that treasure if you can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, should, she should just mind control her guys into yeah. my magic skull. To load it yeah. up while we find Mr. I, uh, no, I, here's the situation I want to paint for you. This metal skull with a drider on top, surrounded by Sverfeblin, hanging from the eyes, hurling through the <laughs> Underdark. Can we make this happen? <laughs> Born to be wild is playing on the stereo. All right. <laughs> Yeah, she will rally her, her little folk to gather up her treasure, to put it aboard your space vehicle, and uh, in preparation for departure. And she'll gather up her things and uh, all of her other belongings. And she, she can asks, she take a look at our radar too? Yeah, she pulls it out of the folds of her um, <laughs> oh, she took body. It? Nice job. And gives it a once over. <laughs> she says, this isn't working, it's not working. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll, you know, I'll, it's busted. can I have that? You're going to break it. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> you know what? It's a, a capacitive touch, and I don't think mandibles work on it. <laughs> <laughs> you need special gloves. Thank you. Anybody else want a drink? I don't know what <laughs> this is. You're back behind the bar. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's stocked here. Yes. Yes. Yeah? I, this is kind of bluish kind of purplish, bluish. Are you into that? I don't know. I'm my always a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that's my, your resting state? <laughs> that's my secret, Captain. I'm always drunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the treasure is being loaded up, and you're hanging out in the bar here, having a fun time. Um, as sort of the last of the treasure leaves the inside of the worm and goes out toward the beholder ship, uh, there is... Uh, some chaos outside that you can all hear. Mm. No. Something like, like good chaos? No. <laughs> the other kind of chaos. No, oh man. That's the last you, thing I want. You hear the chaos? Shrieking, you hear the shrieking of little Smurfeblin. No! Uh, Not our Smurfettes. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah. Yes! Oh my god. That is Thank legit. you. Thank you. That is scary, actually. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we, ah. I open the door. What's going on out there? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just enjoying this. Yeah. <laughs> the music. Music to my ears. Wow. That is so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it is. 
is not great. When you sort of poke out through the front door. This is just for, this is just for VR, I'm sorry. The music of the Sphere Feblin. <laughs> <laughs> the game may continue. <laughs> you see a number of things. One, um, there are a couple of Sphere Feblin being chased around by woolly creatures that look kind of apish. Deep Yeti. Is that a thing? So I'll just put them out here More somewhere. Locks. You're not sure More what they locks. are. <laughs> Oops. But they are chasing around the Sphere Feblin, and some of the Sphere Feblin have dropped their. Uh, gems and scattered them all over you see, the ground. Fuck no. Yeah, they're free. <laughs> You're mad yeah. they dropped their gems? God damn it. Pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be destroyed. <laughs> uh, you can see over here, sort of uh, blundering around the edge of the lake, is a crazy looking fish man who looks completely disoriented. A he's fish man or a fishman? A fish Burlock. man. Okay. Yeah, he's just sort of um, running around like this. From the, from the door? <laughs> oh, man. From, from, from the porch, I say, hey, <laughs> knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> and then you see, Get off my lawn. you see two creatures with tentacles coming out of their no, faces. No, 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 no. And no, purple skin. No, is shut that, the is door. This, is this optional? Like, like. Is this like the supersized version of this encounter? We can get like the diet version? <laughs> Jim does not even fuck with those guys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can see that their, um, their tentacles are wavering and they're sort of taking stock of everything, God uh, damn looking it. around while these creatures that uh, Flabbergast tells you are quaggoths are chasing this Ferfeblin to and fro. What do you do? We roll for initiative. I tell you what you do. You roll initiative. Yeah. Yes. Uh. Yes. Oh. Ben wow. win. How'd you do, Ben? 10. Blah. Jim? 13. 13. Omen? 17. 17. Viari? 18. 18. All right. All right. All right. You see Those Flabbergast players, pull out right? his pad excitedly. Yeah, they're mind flayers. This ain't Krull. Yeah. No. He pulls out his pad? His pad. And begins to prepare what? himself to take notes. No. What? No. Notes. What ho? Son of a bitch. Hmm. Uh, but the first to act is Omen. Sorry, Viari. Yeah. Take it away, kid. <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm assuming I'm on the porch and not still yeah. at the bar. Right. So you can put your dudes, take your dudes there and just put them on the... Put them all up here. Uh, dude. That's Flabbergast. That's Win -win. Bins. Bins. Jim. The. Jim. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to put the Jim top of the Jim rock. Jim. <clears throat> Where am I in front? This, you're, yeah, you're, put you're, me you're in the first position. That's yeah. the only place there's space for that's you. Fair. That's now, fair. Hold on. Who's this person? Is this another... That's smurf? another uh, Smurf. Okay. Yeah. Um, oops. <laughs> <laughs> we are being killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna hear that tonight in my sleep. <laughs> that so, will not be fun. <clears throat> lacking other options, uh, I've got like a wand uh, that I'm pretty sure will do a thing. Possibly. You know? You have a friend who knows a lot about wands. It's, well, this is in the moment, you okay. know? Okay. You, you see, you withdraw this device, yep, the Hitachi like, magic wand. It's all, <laughs> it's all, I like to think that it's brass, you know, and there's, there's all these things orbiting it. And, and How I pretty do much, you know about the Hitachi magic wand? I have the internet. <laughs> you thought you were the only guy that knew about the Hitachi magic wand? Not anymore. <laughs> I, 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 I pull, the, pull the cord on this thing. Yep, and I say... <laughs> <laughs> so who are, you, who are you aiming it at? I, I right, right at the... The elephant? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I suppose I have to look, too, right? You I'll say... say uh, the command words? Command words. Which are flam vert. 
Oh, Green wow. Green. Expecto. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Flum Barrett. Roll percentile oh, dice. Flame. Percentile dice. Oh, oh I was yes. so hoping that's what it was. What? The little this balls is the begin to turn on the end of the wand, and a random effect spills out. Is this the wand of wonder? This is the wand Woo! of wonder. Uh, I did not specify here. Let me. Here, yeah, roll a, roll a regular D10 and then one of those percentages. Yeah. Here you go. 57. 57. And sorry, where are you centering it? Um, Illithid. All right. They are engulfed in a globe of utter blackness. Oh, that'll totally throw them off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've never been in a dark place before. No. Right now, they are totally freaked out. They are checking their phones. <laughs> so what? It just got slightly darker around them? <laughs> it got impenetrably dark around Very them. Very dark. Just absolute blackness. Okay. So. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. All right, uh, after you've done that, uh, the wand sort of calms down and settles down a bit. It stops making that whirring noise. Mm. Um, and then um, uh, you hear above you. No. What? Oh, the gargoyles. Um, uh, you hear above you um, voices. And one of them says, I bet the thief goes down in the fourth round. <laughs> it's they're, they're betting on us? And, and the other one goes, huh, on whom? <laughs> Is it Statler and Waldorf for the gar gargoyles up there? <laughs> All right. This is going to be pretty sweet. That's cool. <laughs> and I'll get, that's, my, that's my cunning action is use objects, so I'll take a move. Okay. Move your guy where you want to go. That's really a clever idea for characters. Yeah. He's a good DM. Gargoyles, yeah. Binwin! How far can I go? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry Omen Binwin. should be next. Sorry, ah, shit. Omen, uh, no, you can good. go you want me to go first. like a hand length. <clears throat> a hand Let's length. say two. Okay. I'll, I'll be here. All right. Nice. I'll we want to pose there. for the album shot <laughs> um, nice. if we can. All right. Straight I, uh, out of under dark. Yep. Is, 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 it a, uh, is it Omen? Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, I hold my uh, Warhammer aloft and I say, Holy Timora, uh, have I not served you well? And I invoke a blessing upon my crew here. Ooh, okay. mm. So that's a plus one d4 on every attack roll and saving throw. Okay. Wow. Nice. wow. I like that. So I'll just set this aside. That's way so better no than bless used to be. It's pretty beat. On I every bless attack next. and saving roll. Yeah, yeah. One d4 on every attack wow. roll and saving throw. It's, it's it should help with the first part of the fight. That's juice, son. That's yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm not walking out of here with a brain. There's yeah. no way. Jim's getting eaten. Thanks for the vote of confidence. No, <laughs> Everybody knows that my brains are really good. <laughs> yeah. They're so good. All right, and after the blessing? Yeah, they crave up on a wizard brain. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I cower behind a stalag stalagmite, I think. <laughs> okay, you can put yourself where you want to be. All right. And while that's happening, Jim? Uh, I can't go out there, man. Wizard brains are like candy for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Shaking in your boots. It's cool there and dark. Drop like oh, all yeah. the fire right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. I say, I say, fix it, Jim. Uh, fix this problem. Yeah, I'm going to try to fix it from here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> from home. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to shoot a... I'm going to shoot... Oh, I can't let the owlbear. No, but first, I'm not... You don't start with the owlbear. You don't ante with the owlbear? No. I'm gonna do a uh, a fireball. I'm just gonna throw a fireball right across this lake here and explode it on them. Very They're nice. all in the dark. They don't know it's coming. It's green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what kind? What kind of fire? Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, and I got a couple saving throws to make. Uh, well, fireball. Oh yeah, fireball is saving throw. My yep. saving th uh, DC is 14. Okay. A huge eruption of flame. <laughs> Uh, explodes out there. Some of it you can actually see through the outer that, limb that of the like darkness it like orb. An eclipse, right? Right. It looks like an eclipse. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, and uh, you can smell calamari. <laughs> 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 um, 
but you're not eating this brain. Roll your damage, because they both failed. Oh, That's great awesome. news. All right, keep these motherfuckers up. I need a lot of d6. Here, I got some d sixes. Oh, plus the d. Same team. That's on the attack roll, not the damage roll, right? It's both, isn't but, it? Well, there was no attack roll. Yeah, yeah, there's no attack roll on that. Yeah. But the blesses every attack Eight. roll or saving throw. Oh, okay. or saving throw, okay. not damage. Okay. It determines whether or not you hit, but not, okay. the, not the skill. 20, 22 damage. Oh! Ooh, nice. That's a good OK. Oh! Oh! All right. Oh, so that was satisfying. You are going to fuck this place up, dude. You're going to fucking... With three of Go to every town. one of those attacks. Don't put, put the, the pressure on me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Finwin is going to scream, catchphrase! <laughs> <laughs> As promised, and then yeah, run to towards... Rock, right? Huh? Just like, just like jump to one rock and then just like... Yeah, I'm going to be like, hurt, catchphrase, psh, psh, and I'm going to swing at this... What are they again? Quagga. 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 All right. Chop. Go oh, to town. No, you have this. You this got is... it. This is what you do. Okay. This is what you train for. My dad's watching. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, William? That's your yeah. name. Oh, yeah, yeah. And don't forget, don't forget your D4. You get an extra D4 on the tackle. D4. Yeah, use D4s exactly. Oh. <laughs> no, it's okay. I sanction this joke. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Uh. 18 plus. Yeah, you crush it. Okay. <laughs> Damages. Damage is the D4 too? No. No, 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 no. Just on saving throws and the attack. No. Roll itself. Thanks for the, that. Come on. <laughs> Help a brother out. Eight. Eight? That's the first roll. Good. All right. <laughs> That's the first hit. Ooh, natural oh, natural 20. Crit. Nice. Yeah. So that's max damage, right? In this game, tonight, it's insta-kill. Hey. Oh. Wow. That goes both ways, by the way. <laughs> oh, shit. shit. This is the Underdark. It's a very dangerous place. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Remove him from the board. Yeah. OK. So that's two attacks. Now I can move. So I moved this fucker. Right and down there. Right there. Yeah. And then third attack? Third attack. What? Yeah, yeah. This, this has been when Bronze Bottom as Chipper Shredder. Can do this all day, Winston! <laughs> <laughs> Three. D4, D4, D4. <laughs> hey, one. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Why are you mad at them? You rolled it. I know. <laughs> I don't blame myself. It's a poor craftsman. I'm saving the rage. <laughs> so the total it's a poor is. poor craftsman that blames the audience? No, that blames his dice. <laughs> oh. Is the total 13 or higher? No. Of what? No, it was not. It was okay. four. <laughs> well, no. You're Wait a attack minute. Bonus? Attack bonus. Plus seven. Is that 13? No. <laughs> four plus seven isn't 13 yet? <laughs> no, it's 11. Nah, eh, fuck. <laughs> I All can right. draw 13. Yeah, so you leap off one. that ledge, you come down at that quagga, but he somehow manages to get out of the way. Um, and My dad just heard me ask if 4 plus 11 is 7 is 13. <laughs> the quagga yeah. will turn Proud his moment. wrath on you, oh, Benwin. It's quagga city. But he's also watching you on stage. He's just going to remember the math. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the quagga is going to roll a 24 on one of his claw attacks. Ah! Well, it's a good thing my armor is 17 then. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> you take six points of slashing damage from his claws. I'm not afraid. Ooh. No. The Kuatoa sort of goes around in a little confused circle. Yeah, I'm wondering if this dude even has, a, even has beef with us. I hate it when right. one of our teammates picks murky. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh. Uh, no, I mean, is this dude, like... Does he even have a problem with us, or is he just like hanging out? Until he swings his fishy sword at me, I, I've got no problem yeah. with him. He is You know what I'm worried about? Fuck. I'm worried that yeah. something is yanking. If, 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 oh. I'm worried that we've been breathing spores for like the last six hours, and I've got 
I got two solid drinks in me, and that's not oh. going to help. And I think those, <laughs> I think those illithids are probably not pulling the strings here. I think some even worse goddamn thing is like laughing its ass off at us right now <laughs> because we think that we're we're actually fighting it. You, 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 we think that we're rad guys. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's a that's a great theory. I just I share that with you briefly up on the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> I have to consider down. the fact yeah. that we're breathing in these spores. <laughs> have All you right. breathed in spores recently? <laughs> you might be eligible for a class action lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> the two mind flayers come stumbling out of the darkness. They are both uh, burned. Uh, just move them so. kind of around the pool. Delicious. So they're coming over here. They're, they're coming, coming over, here. over toward your ship and Binwin. Do they just walk right past the fishy guy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he has much for them. Hmm. They step gingerly over. Yeah. Just move them in front of you somewhere. That's good. What are you doing? Well, I'm sweet. I'm, I'm doing my brand. They both kind of look up at your big beholder ship briefly, not quite making out, you know, not quite fathoming where it came from. Yeah. Uh, but they seem to be moving toward Binwin. Their tentacles reaching out toward you hungrily. I don't know why. Nothing in this noggin. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a quick meal. <laughs> just the hors d'oeuvre. They're gonna get food poisoning from this brain. Yes. <laughs> They're just throwing up behind yeah. a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so stupid. <laughs> They're gonna tell this story for a while. Yeah. He thought seven and four was 13. And from now on, whenever you hear someone mention dwarfs, he's going, no, Jim, no, 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 I couldn't, I no. couldn't. Jim, <laughs> I would like you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, no. Don't, Don't forget, forget your D4. plus D4, son. Don't that's forget it. your D4. Okay. Yeah. That's it, that's it, that's it. A purple D4 on brand. So can I use my proficiency bonus? Wisdom check. Uh, it's a saving throw, so it's just. Oh, so it's just the plus one is all I get. Well, it's your wisdom bonus applies, so if you have one. Plus one. Yeah, that's it. Sweet. I got the D four. I got the D four. Oh Christ! Nice. What was it? Five. Was it? You. Right. I just plus See one guys is later. six. <laughs> is it this way? Is it this? Way? You. Thanks, God. It's been a good run. Is it this way? You represent oh, God. so much damage. This thing is going to just chew and chew on my brain. So you What happens? The purple worm in <gasps> whose mouth you are currently sitting comes alive. What? And swallows you. That was the... What attacked me? You're, you're now... Inside its closed I'm mouth. back in the cavern? Well, I don't all see of, any you, of this. You is see, that correct? You see that the, the tavern is all being crushed by the force of its internal musculature. You can hear the splintering of the bar and the shattering Was of the Was I the only one standing in its mouth when it closed? Uh, Flabbergast leapt out. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Again? Okay. Last thing you saw was him leap forward. And this thing is closing around me? It's totally closed around it's you. You done. are now in its mouth, and you can see that the pieces of what used to be furniture are tumbling down its dark gullet. And there, oh, are, con there are contractions just sort of crushing everything that falls and down. And closing you. Did it's no closed. one inspect this worm to see if it was dead? <laughs> That should have happened at I'm the time. I'm suing as soon as I get yeah, out of here. At the time of construction. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, outside, everything is perfectly normal. Right. Oh, good. <laughs> Except oh, this thing is chewing. No. No. Oh, it's no. this fucking illithid. Oh, we don't see that. No. Oh. And what you see is what you see here. You what see Jim me rolling sees. around on the fucking front porch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Just swatting it. And we're back to you, Viari. <sighs> you're, gonna have to, you, you're gonna have to kill just the edibles. <laughs> <laughs> you never know how they're gonna so, get Maybe the thief will do something useful this time. <laughs> I don't know if we live that long. 
So I'm thinking if I could, I don't know what oh the distances are, are here. Hold on, some Assassin's Creed yeah, type where the hell's shit? Danielle? Like, it's just exactly. like jump out and like, like bump, can I, bump, bump. Can I hit here and then hit here and ha. then just... No, 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 Viari. No, no, no. You have to go from here to there to there. <laughs> That's some Ninja that Scroll would be more, shit. That yeah. would be more <laughs> rad. And physics, I think, would support your... You know, I am here. It's an issue of, I just don't know how far that is to scale. Right? I, I could make an oh, you acrobatics totally could do check. It. It's just yeah. so we'll, take, we'll definitely take, take an acrobatics check. Confident. Okay. Because I don't know if you've ever jumped onto the top of a stalagmite before, but uh, it's tricky business. You stalag might make it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. Okay. So, 19? 19. And don't forget your D, or no, okay, oh, D4. Four. D4. No, 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 no that's, no, no, that's just skills. Yeah, okay, skills. so, so 19. 19 is good. That's good. So, I can, I can literally oh. go from here yep. to here yes. to here. Sure. And do I actually clear the water? What the I fuck? Don't, I don't want to get what wet. The <laughs> what the Absolutely. fuck? <laughs> it's always what the fuck with Viari. He just gives him whatever <laughs> sure, he wants. Sure, why don't why you? Why not? A chandelier appears. <laughs> and you swing across it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, very briefly, I want to describe a scenario for you. With your conjuration, you could create a chandelier oh, any time. Oh, chandelier! I could if I wasn't being swallowed. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so, oh, and actually, yeah, I, I've got. Uh, I, I, I'm assuming that uses my cunning action for the extra move. Y yeah. Right. Yeah. So then I will oh, attack them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Flamboyantly. And it's a twenty. Go ahead. <laughs> you don't need to roll. Don't worry about don't it. Don't worry about it. You don't need to roll. I rolled for you. Uh, the white one will be the apocalypse dagger. Do you say anything memorable as you stab these things? Uh, yes. After, after, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> the Hold most please. clever. I'm going to Ragnarok uh, your world. Once, once I actually get to launch off of that one, I what? know I'm not going to yeah. like splash into the water. I know I'm going to make it. Then I, I, will, I will shout, what ho? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I will shout. We can all play. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. And so 11 plus attack bonus. Wow, shit. Yeah, That's yeah. like a 19 and a 20 big. Two hits. Wow. Just stick them. Because they're hurt. If you focus damage, you can just eat them. And uh, I only get sneak attack if they are surprised, and this isn't particularly surprising, this is just pretty much a Tuesday for me, but it might be, <laughs> for them, it might be a little startling. Dude, Cirque du Soleil this doesn't is, get down here, you no. know what I mean? Like, this is very startling for them. <laughs> okay. I think that's a new one for them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Cirque du Soleil presents Apocalypse Dagger. <laughs> this, wow, I'll take that, there's 10, 13, uh, Roll no, I'm sorry, 10, 23, uh, 27. Whoa! Okay. The rogue, ladies and gentlemen. Dead, right? It is... <clears throat> it, it buckles and wavers, but still is still alive. Jeez. But at least I'm standing directly next to them. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, 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 and... The apocalypse dagger. Right. What does it do? Uh, no one knows. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. So there's that. Two and four. That's just six. Okay. It dies. Whoa! Go. Exactly right. What's that? <laughs> so, what's next? Uh, I'm good for now if you guys want to. <laughs> yeah. you know. If you guys want to play, yeah. yeah. You, you, right, you so can do that. The, this guy's a fucking bard? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is, it, so I, I don't get to sneak it twice in a row, unfortunately. <laughs> oh. So oh, okay. Jim. Jim is rolling around, out. frothing at the mouth. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you can't see clearly, but yeah, there seems to be some. He seems to be having a fit. Seems to be in distress. Okay. Um, it's, it's only a first level spell, but 
protection from evil, if he's charmed or possessed mm -hmm. or feared mm -hmm. or anything like that, protection from evil should just cancel that. Yeah, it should. Okay, uh, I, I, I hear him doing some kind of bizarre dance. Um, you Speaking know. in tongues. Yeah, exactly. So I hoof it up, back <coughs> up into the craw. Okay. And I, just, I, I kneel by him and uh, baste him with um, holy protection. Whoa. All right. I didn't know it was like that. Yeah. Get it in all the crevices. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking about 100% coverage. Yeah. Like with all a right. mop. Right. <laughs> Get those hard to reach places. Uh, two coats. Two coats. Yes. And uh, that seems to snap you out of it. Whew. Okay. So now I'm just back on the porch. Yeah, you're lying on the deck of the porch, just like looking up at your buddy, Omen. Did you see that? No. Wow. <laughs> we have a problem with these squid face people. Right. It's a gym kind of problem. Okay, let's get out of this thing's mouth. <laughs> and we'll deal with it. Jim, you're actually up. Oh, am I? And there's still one illicit left down there? There is. There is. Uh, I do yeah, I'm yes. going to do... Can I have landed in the water now that I think of it? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> nope. You made a choice. You said, I, I don't want to get I, wet. I made a choice, and I'm going yep. to live with that. Yep. Uh, I'm sure Jim's got this one. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump down, and uh, I'm going to fire off three magic missiles as I, as I leap down, all of them targeted at the remaining illithid. Uh, so, let's see. First one hits him for... Four damage. Okay. Next one hits him for shit. Three damage. Okay. And the last one hits him for four damage. All right. Nice. He is staggered but still standing. Good for magic missile. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The mind flare. That's yeah, a fine where the question. fuck is the no? Whoa, she's, she's gonna in here. now suddenly devour us all. Where's the mini? Anybody uh, find the mini? You put a mini oh, back did there. I? Oh. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There she is. Yeah, let's get her in the game. Thanks. Uh, she will pull out a hand crossbow, aim Ooh. it at the mind flare. Oh. Is she blessed as well? Just uh, out of curiosity. I can only bless uh, three plus one, oh, okay. so she wouldn't have been in it. She gives you a dirty look. Well, it would probably hurt. <laughs> All right, uh, and she hits it. Good. And it staggers again, but it's still holding its feet. And, and now very it has to hungry. Make, well, now it has to make a saving throw. Uh, it collapses. You, you can see what appears to be almost like a poison seeping out from the wound oh, into course. its body, turning it all black and crusty. Yeah. Bleh. Can I actually see cool crossbow, the poisonous it's getting a delicious spores? Crossbow. Yeah. Uh, Blah. Me, me, like, I gotta get something over my face. I should have done this days ago. Like, I just need. I'm you need one of those masks. Yeah. Like with a HEPA filter on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I'll like rip off a piece of my shirt, and I want to get it wet, and like I'm breathing through that now. It's oh, okay. already in there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's in I there. think we're sporified. Well, yeah. I have dwarven constitution, so I'll be fine, but yeah. you guys are. This shit is going to It's going to hatch in your lung zone. You and hear a voice up. say, Ah, that thief is quite a scene stealer. Huh. If only it was a death scene. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? I am with it. I love yeah. these guys. That's awesome. I say we bring them with us. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I, I have, we, have a, we have a place for them. Yeah. We, we're going to have them operate our social media campaign. <laughs> <laughs> They're community managers. That's right. People tell me all the time that they have the best DM, and I'm like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so you say. The Kuatoa sort of ambles over to you. He's going to make you sign a petition. The fish guy? <laughs> yeah, the fish guy. He okay. ambles over to you, and he just sort of uh, does a little kind he of dance you. around you. He does... I got no, I've got zero beef with this dude. I don't have any problem with the fish guy. I'm kind of want, yeah. we take him, too. Yeah, absolutely. I like this dude. Yeah. 
We need to bring actually he starts clapping his fins together. Yeah, right? I love this guy. He's funny. I like him. He's all right. Yeah. I've got a loot. I'll play a little something for him. You know, we can we can we can jam. There's still one of those other monsters. Oh yeah, there, yeah, right? yeah. Quagoth. Yes, the Quagoth. Um, it he's gonna is. Flip out. He's gonna turn on Binwin. Binwin. Actually, no, it's Binwin's turn. Yes. My bad. All right. Well, I can't see over this Scott-proof wall. You're standing right next to them. But monster. I'm right next to him. Yeah. So I scream the catchphrase. Actors Incorporated merchandise available at the Table Titans booth in the atrium. Come see us tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Way to just slip that in there. <laughs> All axes? No, I jumped down. Price. Yes. All axes have price. T shirts, play mats. This is all my catchphrase. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but but it's, it's punctuated with swings of this heavy Prince. axe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, first, oh, and I get the D4. Wait, scream D4 at me. D4! Take it easy. <laughs> All right. Ooh, good roll. So that's a that's a 27. Oh yes. Historically, that's been yeah. Hit. So that's my first hit. You want me to roll damage first? Yes, please. All right. Uh, seven. Okay, he takes that. Second attack. That's a crit. Wow. Oh, dead. Woo! Anything else I can kill? Yes. No. Glad you what? asked. No. Oh shit. What? Why it has removable plates? Uh, you see part of the back cavern disintegrate and a beholder comes through. What? Yeah, but a I've real got a, one? I've got a way bigger one. I mean, we got to get in our beholder fast. And yeah. uh, the beholder looks kind of manic. Its big eye darts around and its oh, eye shit. stalks dart so around. We're, we're, talking about a, we're talking about a high beholder. The crazy yeah. beholder? <laughs> And it says something in its beholdery underdark language. Beholderian. Oh, the sun is All right, well. I don't want any of that. That's just right. like your opinion, man. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Guys, we're in the high of the beholder. Here, so. <laughs> hmm. And Reese. thus his friendship with Patrick was ended. Grief <laughs> <laughs> uh, aside, uh, Viari, it seems that you've been, the reality is that this thing is actually like right in front of you. It's like 10 feet away. You need to drive this and you need to train its beam on this other smaller beholder. Beholder you, you versus a, beholder. You, yeah, you BDB. Said I, you said I wasn't allowed to drive the beholder. You said it was an insurance I thing. I said that you were not allowed to drive it. <laughs> um, during a period of time where it would not have been convenient for me for you to do that. Oh. <laughs> That's fair. This is, this, is not the same situ this is not the same situation. No, it's a different situation. Right? Yeah. Okay. You guys are going to back me up on this. Absolutely. Can, yes. can we assume that you gave me the keys earlier? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll throw them up from there. It's, just, it's a remote. <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah. It, That's it, right. It's a it's dongle. It's a push button. Yeah, it's, it's just a like, Yeah, it's a BMW beholder. Okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll totally jump in. All These the treasure's all... in there, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> except, except for a few... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much most of it. Tune Nin in next year. 90% <laughs> of it. Uh, yeah, so you start running for the device and... Uh, <laughs> God damn it. One of the, you're one of the gargoyles say, I thought bards were supposed to sing! <laughs> Huh, I thought they were supposed to be instrumental. <laughs> what? Where is this coming from? It's pure beef. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And that's when you realize that the somebody has closed the hatch Shit. and it's like not opening. <laughs> uh, is this something that could be solved by say picking a lock? Yeah, you think so. And then I will try that. Ooh. 20. Oh, hold on. What, what, is this sleight of hand? What? Uh, I'm sorry. No, this is just a dexterity check. So it's just plus four. Yeah, it's just, yes, just it's only four. 18. 18. So a uh, question for you, Omen. Um, what quality locks do you put on things that carry? 
like uh, the acquisitions uh, incorporated no, branded I locks. Don't, I don't want to give you I There's, don't want to give you ideas, but you have to remember that the modifications were done by Drawn Enterprises. That's fair. And so it's less of a lock, really, as as a countermeasure. So that knowing I'm knowing your older there. sister, Auspicia, as well as you do, do you think that she is the type of person slash business entrepreneur who buys shoddy locks, <laughs> average locks, <laughs> or exceptional locks? She buys average locks, I would guess. I mean, I don't know her super well, but. The locks, that, the locks that she buys are of such exquisite manufacture <laughs> that they stand on their own in museums. <laughs> the, the locks are indistinguishable from art. You fail. <laughs> You I just say they're bad locks. Yeah. <laughs> it's not hard. You say shitty locks. Shitty locks, man. It's that easy. And then we have a beholder robot. Yeah, and when you sort of like come out from underneath the vessel, uh, you can see looking at you through the big glass eye. Oh, I like, do not get in front of that. Oh, of course not. I, you I, I see that and I go, oh, that is. That lock. <laughs> That's a one tier. That lock. One, one tier. tier. Single tier for the quality of this lock. <laughs> you try to kiss the lock. Yeah. I'm not even mad. <laughs> and then I go, it's not me in the beholder. <laughs> Who oh, is Menifus. in the beholder? Is it the cat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? That. Mr. Snively is fucking, there's a cat in charge of this You can see it through the window, thing. sort of like, it's like fisheye lens enlarged. Does he have his little paws on the controls? Yeah. <laughs> not, well not, it's, it's just kind of like walking around among the, among the controls. Oh, oh, he's not, he's not like stuff with his tail. It. No, he's not like this. Oh, oh okay. my God. Wow. <laughs> All right. But I'm just saying, Think about the types of advanced weaponry you would leave in the paws of a cat. Yeah. yeah. The, it, it's a short list. Yeah. It's a short list. All those disintegrations beam, and then it would chase the disintegration oh, beam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Running after it them. would never end. We're not talking about a genius animal. No. Jim, All right. don't tell Omen, but I left a mug of ale next to the keyboard. <laughs> and if that fucking cat knocks, it over. knocks that goddamn thing over, I'm gonna beat some deep shit. <laughs> Beholder sort of flies under the bridge over here, uh, looks around, says something completely unintelligible, looks down at Jim, yeah. oh, uh, oh and my then God. starts to fly off toward the pool. Oh. oh. Oh, maybe he's here for a completely other reason. He's just here to swim. <laughs> maybe he's gonna try to get funky with the. Uh, maybe. And as it, as it drifts over the pool, it catches sight of this big, gigantic beholder machine uh, and hits it with its anti-magic ray. And the whole beholder machine falls down on you. Well, I was not. Uh, uh, didn't you just tell me you were underneath it? Oh, no, 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 by, by the path. The, the okay. port is in the back. It falls down and rolls and it tips on back. you. <laughs> Come. And, and this is the one. This Dude, is the this one is that the I This is the one, blow. right? We are talking about some evasion shit. Yep. We are talking about the real deal. Here, so, ask, so what's he looking for? D4. Right? D4. Is this a saving throw? No. This, this is a dexterity saving throw. Okay. okay. D4. Thank you very much, Thank Brown. you. I will take that D4. D4. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, 12. <laughs> oh, shit. 12? All right, the thing goes boom. So you have evasion, is that, is that you take half damage and you save for none? For right? a musician, he sounds kind of flat. <laughs> oh God. I 
was here to see I, it. I'm, so, a, I'm assuming when it first landed, it, it landed on my cape and I tried to dodge and that's what did it. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Yeah. Yeah. So, like so the end it's of the way that I always wanted to go. But for real, run though, to the side. Yeah. You just you run to the side. You run to the side. For none. Is that the <laughs> I do have Seinfeld. evasion. Yeah. You do have evasion. You just run to the side. So I take half lethal damage, probably. Nice. Half infinite damage. That's great. Wow. So only okay. one infinity. <laughs> nice. How uh, much do, do I take? Uh, let yeah. me roll the damage. Uh, all damage. All of it, yeah. <laughs> He's still rolling dice. We have a couple dice. He needs to go get more dice. <laughs> we go to the Chessex booth. Yeah. And just dump the tray out. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't have a, I don't have a ton of dice, so I'm just going to multiply the result by 10 if that's okay with you. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, who, who do you think they'll get to play with us next year? <laughs> <laughs> like Vin Diesel? Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right. Nathan Fillion. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, you, uh, so you take 240 points of damage. What? That's so I, dead. I, but I guess I'm sorry, how much? That, right? Yeah, half of that, so that's 120. Oh, okay. yeah, still just dead. Now, I have uncanny dodge. Yes. Which I can use once per round. Yes. Can I use that in combination with my evasion? No. I did not think so, but I wanted to try. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Any other tricks up your sleeve? I have, uh, I have a lot of rope. <laughs> <laughs> I brought extra rope. Hold on, hold on. Uh, do, do I see it? I see it hit, and yeah. there's, a, there's a split second before it rolls onto him, right? Right. Can I... Uh, There's that Wile Coyote moment where you see the yeah. shadow fall on top of him. And then, yeah. Can I, just because they're the closest, can I transpose him and the fish guy? <laughs> he may not be able to resist. Yeah, he, does, he can't stop it. I mean, he's goofed. I, don't I like the fish guy, though. I yes. like him, too, but he's not going to stop me from transporting him. Yes, you absolutely can. I'm going to... So, you're going to transpose Yeah, I just... Him? Okay. Yeah, what Thank about the you. teleportation? Well, he said it I might know. interfere with it. Also, mm. shut up. <laughs> but I can I still try. I had not forgotten. I can yeah. still try. So, um, so, the spell half works. You get Viari out from underneath. Okay. I would like you to roll randomly to determine what creature gets teleported in his place. God damn it, Jim! God damn it! Hold on. What do you want me to roll? Roll a d20. Okay. If you roll a 20, something really it's bad will 15. happen. It's 15. Actually, that's... So start counting back, yeah, right? Yeah, hold on. So fish guy, Viari. One, two, three. The Beholder. <laughs> <laughs> No damage for you. You're 240 welcome. damage for the beholder. You see eye stalks just sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> you have your own announcer. <laughs> so far, the Underdark, not great. That is exactly how I plan for that spell to work, just as a quick heads up. We'll just put this. No. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. Can't do that. But now it's angry, so now it's yeah. red eye. Oh. Is the cat okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> Landed right. on his feet. All, All right, Jim. Left. That's some good work, Jim. Thanks. Finwin. Yes. Own this house. I what? Own this house. Take it. What Who's left? What you do. What's left? Build a fucking wall in front of me. I can't see a goddamn. Oh. Yeah. I, I, I don't see any foes. There's no foes. Who do Was, I foe? Wasn't there a third one of these? Where did it go? No, he ate no, them. There was just the two. Okay. He ate them up. But I'm glad you asked. No. Give me a foe. Yeah. Who 
that. Look who it is. You Tourist? see. Oh shit, no. he's nuts. On he's the gone bridge. fucking nuts from the goddamn uh, spores. Leaping, leaping up onto the bridge, you see a well, dark this. elf with two scimitars. He's lost down here because he's nuts. We have to fight him? He's lost down here because he's fucking batshit crazy off of the mushrooms. He looks batshit crazy. <laughs> he looks like he was hunting a beholder and some motherfucker just killed it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not even fighting Drist O'Durden. That's not <laughs> happening. Drist O'Durden is the Irish. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> Drist O'Durden? <laughs> Different guy. Not the same guy. Oh, it's Drist O'Durden. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know? Don't you know? With my twin shillelaghs. Maybe being crazy. <laughs> maybe being crazy makes him less like powerful. Yeah, sure. All right. Let's see if that works out. Maybe. <laughs> is th is there still subduing damage? No. No, I'm fucking no, killing this guy. But you can. You, when, You're when gonna be that guy. You're gonna be the one that does zero, it. You can choose. I'm gonna not fucking to kill this guy. Kill them. And then Bob Salvatore will have to come up with a new fucking character. <laughs> <laughs> He said, Please Shortly don't be watching died. this, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whose turn is it? Yours. Well, I can't climb all the way up there in one move, so <laughs> I'll just jete up the rock a bit. <laughs> how far can I get? Uh, this how far is would so you sad like to, to watch that? <laughs> <It's> like, uh, <laughs> uh. Now, okay, there's, there's two ways to go. Yeah. I can be afraid of him. If you face your fear just go and, be, deep. and be transformed into a liquid. And what, try to hit him with an axe? Fuck yeah. You only fucking been once. <laughs> Available on a t-shirt. Do we see his... Uh, the Table Titans booth in the atrium. Come see his magic cat around anywhere? Yeah. Okay. I run as far as... Cl I run as close to... Fuck yeah. So from here, you can probably get to... Step one, yeah. rage out. Yeah. <sighs> Honestly, even if you die, what a way to go it's, out. That's the way you want to go. And you know, you want to be on the bridge. I bet you could go right up the yeah. side. Yeah, there. pretty much. Yeah. Right up the steps. Yep. You're a dwarf climbing rocks. Climbing rocks, like, that's your backyard fuck. right Not there. Not even... You're part rock. Right up here? On your mother's side. You want this? Yeah. Right next to him, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 that won't no, piss no. him off. One attack, just cut the bridge, and then just fucking kill him in midair. I, <laughs> I have a brilliant idea, guys. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking came to me. <laughs> I cut the bridge. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Fuck what, it. it comes off? No, it doesn't. The bridge goes down. Knock it see, off. You see Dritz hang there. Over. No, <laughs> damn it. And he just looks at you. This is the most badass shit that has ever happened. <laughs> literally levitating in the air. What is it like that wily e. coyote until he looks down, he no, won't no. fall? I think, no, no. No, no. I, I he think just he likes doesn't it. need to stand on things. He has, <laughs> he has boots of I don't give a shit. <laughs> He gives you a wicked smile. All right. But it's not his turn, so that's all he does. You could totally tackle that bitch out of the air. He does that for free. Tackle, no. oh, jump, you can jump. get there. Jump, bear him to the ground. Throwing axes. Hey. You just throw your, oh shit. I have throwing axes. Yes, yes he should. does. I can't wait to see have this. At it. You paid for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge of it. <laughs> <laughs> Bronze Bottom, Duerden, <laughs> this Sunday. Yeah. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Tonight. No, it's Friday. Free nachos. Yes. Whoa. Good job. Plus seven. Yes, that's a hit. Yeah, fuck yeah, it's a hit. <laughs> New York bestsellers list my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
no, 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 no. It's 19, 22, 23, 24. Oh, only 24? That's another attack roll you're making? Yeah. Okay, Second that's also, also a hit. <laughs> Damages! Seriously, though, you couldn't say that you hit him. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Bath, Alicia! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so each of these is a D6 plus four. So six, seven, plus, here's this fucking seven plus something again. You get hung up on the sevens. Seven plus six, that's Use your finger, like that's 13. Yeah. Papa, Papa, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's up there just crying right now. Yeah. My oh boy. wait. Fuck it. Act. Oh no. Wait. Did my movement up there take an action surge? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. You, for for you from there yeah. to there, action surge. All right. Totally. That's fine. Yeah. But you 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 did your attacks. You did your three attacks. Wait, yes. One extra attack. Yeah, two of your take, axes attack, go winging action. by him, and you can see blood two. trailing okay, behind them. Up there Second. for you. Feet. Forever. Sure. He's bleeding Tavern now. Brawler. No. Okay. All right. Wait. What? It's plus four to each hit, because I was raging. Okay, very good. Good job. I know that somewhere right now, Mike Failauer is going, plus two, you're raging! <laughs> <laughs> a black mass, a shape that's indistinct, leaps out of the darkness at Binwin. Yeah. And just takes him that's off it. his <laughs> perch. <laughs> or tries to. Oh shit, it's that cat. Cat style. I Never asked go into the Underdark the without a cat. He uh, just fucking manimaled me. <laughs> 22. It's your 17. Little hit. Yeah. Uh, the claws do 12. Jeez. Uh, that's, that's fine. That's way cooler than my owlbear. It, uh, maybe he wants to trade. You need to stick the owlbear to bite you. Cat. Yeah. Yeah. Fails. Uh, it rolled a 25. Fuck. Jeez. And does 18. Ooh. And I'd like you to make a uh, contested strength check. Ooh, wrestling the, this cat. Against the 600 pound panther. Uh, no, I, I dodged it. He has his own 600. panther. 600. It is 600 pounds. Magically That's heavy. That's cannon. Is all this canon though? Like, if you say it, of it's course. canon. That's how why, it works. Why wouldn't it be? So I make a strength save? Yeah. So I roll a d20 and I add. You know what's canon? This Plus guy. Four saving throw. Is a Lord of Waterdeep. He's a Lord of Waterdeep. Yeah. Right? And he's in the next Ed Greenwood novel. For real? Wow. Yeah. Omen. Oh. All right. But don't, don't forget your plus Sorry. four on your. I don't want to step plus, on your plus moment. Plus one d4 on your. I've got it. Okay. Uh, so 18 plus seven plus two is my roll. Wow. Okay. That's a lot. You are locked in a death struggle up here with the with cat. This evil cat. Fuck yeah. Shades drop. Smoke weed Hell every yes. day. <laughs> <laughs> no, they come down, but they yeah. come down from the earth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It takes two weeks. <laughs> -na 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 -na. Oh shit. Okay. 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 That is that is Binwin's mighty turn. Yes. That takes us to. The Kuatoa, who just does his crazy ass thing, um, I love he comes that guy. over to you, Viari, again, and does a little dance around you. I'm not playing. He's in the bottom lane, just doing siege damage. Yeah. Not paying right. attention to objectives. No, he's not going back in the uh, What's her face? Danielle will fire her crossbow bolt at the Kuatoa. No! What? No! Stop! No, 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 no. Killing it. Oh. No! What? I'd given him a name and a backstory. Oh. I flush it down a, a magic toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you conjure a toilet. You conjure a toilet. And then flush the kuatoa. Yeah. Because it was your idea to cut the rope bridge. Yeah. My oh, are idea. You I'm giving you inspiration. Oh, thank you. It's you can share really it around cool. if you want. Yeah. All right. Yeah, use it before you're deveined by this cat. <laughs> you want me to snap a picture of this? It's pretty epic over here. You yeah. And the, you and the, I don't have my phone. You want me to use Oh, you want my here. phone? Yari, I'll take this over okay. briefly because it's your turn. Yeah. Oh, my turn. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of in mourning. Uh, yeah. 
You can mourn with your bonus action. For, okay, for, man, you need to get to fucking work. So he's up there mid-air? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's just levitating right there. There's no way I can get up there in time. I'm assuming. <laughs> oh, no, no, hold on. We are talking about a situation. But, dude, you... You're saying that you jump up on chandelier type shit all the time. We're talking about what is essentially a living chandelier. Like, this is your natural enemy. <laughs> <laughs> this is your natural That's enemy. That's true. true. You get to fight a chandelier yeah. now. I, I will get as far up there as you will let me. Wow. Uh, in oh, my dude, this is, this <laughs> what an balls, offer. <laughs> this ball's out of control. God damn it. I mean, you can see the arc, right? Like, this is some Tony Hawk shit. Like, yeah. boop, bop. Onto the sign, grind off, off the fucking. If you can get up to the, the sign, worm. that will help. Ollie off a of dritz. Yeah, Air yeah. to fakie. Kick flip. How many acrobatic rolls would you like? Let's say two. Okay. First one. Oof. Twenty-five. Nice. Excellent. Good. That's where it starts. Now off the sign. Off the sign. Ooh. Ah. Oh. So. Uh, I give you inspiration. Twelve. Oh no! Oh, it, wait, do you need it? Inspiration. He I'm not proud of that. No, this skull. Take this skull from our friend Binwin. Well, you, you might need that. The panther is like all over. I here. got the panther. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> give, give me that. Give me that. Bam. Twenty-three. Yes. <laughs> now. Now that you have this living chandelier, what will you do? Well, first things first, are you actually trying to grab onto him, or are you just kind of hit him as you go by kind of deal? Truthfully, like, what's the... I, know. I, didn't have a I didn't have a good plan. I didn't really <laughs> think it out when I jumped. I hadn't thought that far. I can't feel good about stabbing Drizzt with the apocalypse dagger with the... No! You don't kill another author's character. <laughs> Very, it simply isn't done. Very gauche. That is going to make the Hugo's super awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to, like, bear him to the ground. Like, I want right. to grab hold of him, and he's on the bottom. Well, the good news is his levitation can only support one. So when you grab onto him, you both go down. Shoot. And there's like this slow motion fall where like you're on the bottom and then he's on the bottom and then you're on the bottom and then he's on the bottom. <laughs> it's oh, a I, had, I had a dream yeah. like this once. <laughs> <laughs> was was Drist in the dream? It was with it was a yeah. dream about it's the, him. It's, it is a dream yeah. about this. All no, right. no, it was but there was a lot of topping and bottoming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say no more. Say no more. <laughs> This There's guy's a whole like drist category on you. What's the difference sure. between yeah. that guy and a plump? I don't know. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> did you just crack yourself up yeah. before you even did the joke? <laughs> uh. <laughs> One's a spineless gas bag, and the other's a plump. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, you land on top of drist. Uh, Just like the gypsy woman said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it! That is, that is the awesome. evening. That's you beef. both take uh, <laughs> six points of damage from the fall. Nice. Are you hurt, Jim? Am I hurt? Yeah. No, I haven't been touched. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, except for the mind flaying, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but that, that didn't deal any damage. Okay. Omen. Not yes. physically. No. It is your turn. Oh man, I didn't think any farther than getting him on the ground. He's gonna just Oh, he's gonna murder you, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> nice run, though. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get where I can see the fight. <laughs> yeah. DR, it's just a matter of knowing which number of Gilligan pans to the head snaps him out of the trance. <laughs> <laughs> so, I get up where I can see both the panther and the, uh, the Whatever is happening with the two of them. It's, it's, it's tender. Yes. It's, it's pretty what? intimate. Oh, yeah, every, everybody's having a good time, obviously. What? Um, so uh, I am going to cast Prayer of Healing, uh, a second level spell, but I'm going to cast it at third level to get a bonus 1d8 of healing. Mm -hmm. And it, he it heals multiple targets. So I'm okay. going to cast, I'm going to catch uh, Viari. Yeah. I'm just going to just a scratch, but sure. you're boned, right? I mean, he's taking some damage. I'm, I'm down to 
half. Okay. Well, that's, yeah, you're going to need all of that. So. But I ain't scared. All right. Please. That's your half? <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Eight, eight, and five. Oh, nicely nice. done. 21, 24 points to both of you. Thank well done. You. A big heel. <coughs> Thank you, sir. The healthcare right. policy here is very good. I yeah. do want to <laughs> say. That's the one thing we <laughs> yeah. have going. After it's hands um, on. After Omen does his heel, you're sort of enjoying the the wellspring of health. Glow. And uh, <laughs> uh, you see, it, it's <coughs> in, you're kind of in the dark a little bit. Um, there's it's, a. It's mood lighting, really. It is mood lighting. Yes. Um, Suddenly, you don't, Dritz isn't there anymore. He's like gotten away or run away or turned into shadow or God knows what. Um, but he's gone. Huh. Well, that's, that's that dealt with then. I've and he's behind Omen. supposed to find him. Oh. Whoa. And he's what? He's behind Omen. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. Can you slide him behind Oh, he can there? teleport. That's cool. Ex ex Excusez-moi. <laughs> um, Weren't we told that this area was a teleport adverse? He doesn't, he did not teleport. No. Thick. <laughs> he moved blindingly fast. Jeez. Damn. That's called fucking teleport. <laughs> <laughs> Omen. Yes. Is your AC 38 or less? <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-nine. I'm sorry, my math is wrong. Thirty-three or less. Uh, uh, it's get in the beholder. Get <laughs> in the I, beholder. I, I, I get hurt really bad. Okay, um, okay so uh, he oh, no. he impales you with one of his scimitars yes. for twenty-five points of damage. Yes, oh. that's, that's not a huge surprise to me. Twenty-five points. Twenty-five. Minus three physical damage, heavy armor master, motherfucker. So you know. <laughs> oh fuck. So twenty-two. Right. Yeah. Is that, was that all of his attacks combined? Yeah, no. and, he, and, he can't, I'm glad and he can't you asked. And he can't attack anymore. So, I, I, what? from what I understand, Why would you because ask? behold, he has another sword. Yeah, oh, he's got two. Yeah. I've seen the cover of the book. Yeah. I mean, I, that he slides into your cleric like a sheaf. <laughs> uh, this one, he rolled a big number. Yeah. Man, that two weapon shit is such bullshit. That's such a munchkin. I'm just going to just sit here and just fucking take my medicine. Just right. tell me the number. This isn't so bad. This is 22 points of damage. Oh. How you doing? Are you alive? Jeez. <laughs> it's just like a fingernail inside some chain mail. <laughs> that's, that's what's left. You see two blades coming out of your chest, which is kind of a novelty for you. You've never seen that before. But He's then they disappear us. suddenly. They just sort of slide back into your chest. Uh, well, is that good or bad? I mean, I don't know. At that point. Now, these, if I remember the books correctly, not that I read them a bunch of times or anything, one of these is on fire, right? And the other one is... What are you doing? Shut up! I just... What are you doing? I was just... I was just... I we wanted... all know about the fucking swords. I just wanted to picture it accurately. Yeah. Well. <laughs> so it wasn't on fire when it went in to him, um, but it does kind of light up as it's oh, pulling so it's out. Cauterized. And it's so cauterized. And it's cauterized the wound. That's great. So it's not bleeding. I bet you get a little healing from that. This is a huge plus. No healing. No healing. No, it, it, just, it, it, get, it gets that, that, that delicious crust that you want on a mortal <laughs> wound. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> All right. All that right. was the Good. coolest yeah. thing when I read those books. Oh my like, god, tell me about it. Fire scimitar, ice yeah. scimitar. Oh, yeah. That shit's hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, what's All right. next? What's next is it is Bleed to death. Seriously, Dark the other magic. one is ice. Though. Yeah. It's magic time. Yeah. Uh, Do you have an anti-dritz spell? <laughs> no. Don't have that one. By the um, way, um, you were actually close enough and you were close enough to see that you can see the madness in this dark elves' eyes. He is just completely consumed with the desire to kill everything he encounters. Oh. Well, see, we were fucked anyway. I'm glad I yeah, did I, I can, I can go after 
the panther, Gwen, or I, hold on, or I can go after uh, him. I, I've got the panther. You have the panther? I've got this panther. Can I, can I release the owlbear onto the panther and still attack uh, Dritz? Yes. Okay. So I toss this uh, owlbear statue. It tumbles a couple times, and then poof, owlbear. And, it's uh, like an owlbear grenade. Yeah. And I look at it and I say, hey, you're not the only one with a magical friend. Okay? Nice. And I stick the owlbear on the panther. Let me look up what a panther is real quick. <laughs> Hell yes. Yeah. This is so live. Oh, Pikachu. And I choose you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't yeah. I don't know exactly how this would work. Can I put him to sleep? What, Dritz? Dritz, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Thank you. That's gotta go on the feed, kid. Alright. So um I don't wanna so sleep affects a certain a number of hit points. Right, and I, I mean, obviously he's got more hit points than... Yeah, so you don't think that's going to be terribly effective. Okay, that's, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, do I think that whatever is affecting him is magical in nature? Could I dispel it? Too. I'm curious well, actually, the way the too. spell is written here, uh, you roll a 5d8, and that determines how many hit points you affect. You're pretty Would that sure even he's got get, more than Yeah, that. it's not going to get close, right? He's got more than 5d8 hit points, which is 5 times 8. Huge. 13. I know it's not 13. <laughs> what, do, what do I think about the nature of the effect that is, you know, uh, controlling it? Do I think 20, it's magical in nature? Is 30, it... 35, 40. It's, oh, your, your best guess is it's similar to what you went through. It seems to be an onset of madness spread by something, and it can strike at any so time. Anyone. It's similar, but it's but is it is it, it's not evil. It's it's it might be coming. Make a uh, arcana check for me. Okay. Yeah, we need data. He's data. been yeah. watching uh, data. He's been watching Fox News. Oof, that's good. I love uh, it. Twenty-five. Ooh, twenty-five. Um, you think that that uh, magical radiation, the phaserus, might be a conduit for some of the like the demonic chaos that has just been brought into the underdark is seeping through this radiation and this affecting everybody. This is fixable exactly the is same it? way I fixed yeah. you. That's why, yes. that's why it worked on you, his protection if from evil spell, because is the, if it's, the the, it's is demonic the madness coming through the radiation. That madness, because it's demonic, we just gotta get a, is evil. From we just have to survive here. until we get back to my turn. <laughs> do, you, do you have a dispel magic? It might work. I have dispel magic, um, but I can't, I mean, can I dispel all the, ma this whole magical effect just, in the entire maybe cave? Just no. on him? Why would you have dispel magic? Wouldn't you just disappear after you cast it? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work that way, Scott. You can only do it once, but it's a fucking great trick. Uh, all right. Everyone is impressed. <laughs> yeah. This is it's drip. probably better than trying to light him on fire because that shit. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I don't want to light What's him on fire. What's he saying? But I, I can't just hear him. Is there something I, don't I can know. do? I don't. To... I don't read ass cheeks. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> my ass. Now they're just getting me. I would try to yes, spell magic. Yes, they are. Uh, like the Muppets. You know what? I am going to... So I'm going to use uh, minor conjuration. Yes. Um, Not much. So I can create uh, a magical whatever I want. And it's real. It's a real thing. Mm -hmm. I can just bring it into existence. Sure. Uh, I, and it glows. It's obviously magical. So um, all around him... He becomes bound by magical chains. All right. I mean, I just try yeah. to hold him until yeah. your turn. Yeah. He, he seems to just be him momentarily okay. struck cool. by the oddity That's of that. That's cool. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, is there any... Anything else you can do, or do you th I could uh, I could attack him, but I don't I don't want to shoot sure. him. Okay. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Not cool. <laughs> Benwin. Yeah. Please. Panther. Uh. 
Not that I haven't read the whole player's handbook, but I'm testing you. How long does rage last? <laughs> oh, geez. Um, let me Is it you. more than one turn? Yeah, actually, it's, it's till the end of the encounter, I think. Oh, shit. And or my owlbear is until tearing certain, into it. Certain yeah. things could happen. Like, you could be knocked unconscious, yeah. say. Um, you could be knocked to zero. I points. can rage sleep, though. I've but done that. <laughs> Rage sleep. Rage. Yeah, I just uh, fucking rage uh, sleep. Uh, uh, fuck. <laughs> this if guy. If anyone casts on we on you, it automatically borrow, ends the rage. I'm going to borrow yeah. this. <laughs> uh, no, I'll do it one at a time. For purposes yeah. of this game, it okay. lasts until the rest of the game. So, am I in a position to Worst swing, or am I just trying to get on Oh, grapple? no, it's like in your face, but you're up and you're able I'm to. I'm swinging? Oh, yeah. All right. You haven't been knocked down. All right, so first attack. Uh, 17 plus 7 plus 3. Yep. Good. Second attack. Uh -oh. No. Is it close? It's a one. Uh, mm. Bonus uh, action <laughs> attack is crit. A crit. Wow. Uh -huh. A one and a twenty. So, so your right blade off the goes, top rope, just like yeah. your blade cuts through the cat. Yes. And the next thing you know, there is a small black figurine hurling through the air. I put it in my air. pocket. I catch it. Dude, it would be awesome if we stole that fucking panther. Yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> if it's flying in the air over to me, I'm fucking catching uh, it. Well, let's see where it's flying. Let's uh, say... See where what's flying. Is it flying towards Jim? So it's either one, it two, three, four. It flies into Jim's four. bag. <laughs> and the roll is one. Oh. So you're down there, and it just sort of falls. Wow. <laughs> Is anybody watching me? The finders keepers, I mean. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have it now. I am him. You have Dritz's. Oh my panther. god, I can't believe that you just broke that. <laughs> I bet he you that was really important to somebody. <laughs> he can't. No. <laughs> All right. Well, can, you picture, can you picture R.A. Salvatore watching on Twitch going, what the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> He's making calls to Watsy. <laughs> hey, Salvador. <laughs> All right. Thinking Quote's going to get a companion animal now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it appears in your book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the panther disappears from that book, appears yeah. in this book. <laughs> the problem is the minute you throw that statue down, it's going right. to tear You're the like, shit out of you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Weak in the knees, staggering well, no, about. No, no, I mean, there is there's blood coming out. Like, it's all over the teeth of this worm. I support Wire myself him. with one hand Wire. behind. I push myself back up off of the thing. He's totally nuts with madness. I say, Timora, goddess of luck. Imagine the tales they will tell when your champion has bested Driss Doherty. And, Whoa! And then, I just, just like, just placid of face. Um, I'm gonna cast protection from evil and try to get the same result. Right. Just to try to break that conduit to that demonic madness. All right. Well done. You. Uh, you see the madness lifted from his eyes, and he just sort of collapses down onto the, onto the uh, platform. Get his uh, Under the weight of his... his <laughs> I want you to sign my hammer. <laughs> Under the weight of his chains, and you can see him just shaking his head, um, clearing the cobwebs. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't dispel the chains just yet. I got two new scimitars. <laughs> and you see, you see uh, uh, Danielle. Um, she is sort of coming up behind him. Uh, oh no, she's lost her shit. What? She's What's happening? Just regular Danielle, Danielle like, is coming up behind Danielle Dritz. is still in the middle of this shit. Yeah. He, he did like stab you all the oh, way. Oh no, I'm hosed. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. I mean, she's kind of oh, she's, she's kind of justified you? in trying yeah, to kill looks it like well. a, or something. Yeah, she. Uh, you see that. Um, if you let go of those chains, Driss will take care of our Danielle. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as I see her approaching, I yeah. pop the chains off. <laughs> All right. Go crazy, man. Hey, I never really no, no, her. it's like a, a drider. <laughs> a drider. All a right. drider. A drider. You see 
a flash of steel and then another one and then like six more and like bits of drider go everywhere wow. and then Danielle is just like gone. That's and a massive she's probably going in for I, a hug. That I was peek, her modus operandi. I peek down at Dritz and I look at him and I go, bitch killed your panther, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time we got the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good timing. Timing is everything in humor. I yeah. love the gargoyles. They were pretty great. <laughs> they were great. Every game. Good work, DM. And we're done. Was that it? <laughs> With Viari having Gwen? <laughs> wow. I want a standing O Perkins. Thank you very so much. Oh, man.